Et salut les amis, c'est le Gigo sur Game Movie Land. Aujourd'hui pour vous présenter le tout dernier film, Kingdom Hearts 2, sorti en 2006 sur PlayStation 2, aujourd'hui en remaster sur la PlayStation 4. C'était le dernier film manquant de la série des Kingdom Hearts sur Game Movie Land. Vous avez maintenant l'histoire complète pour vous préparer à la sortie de Kingdom Hearts 3 le 29 janvier. Tous les films sont présents dans la playlist située ici ou ici, je n'ai aucune spatialisation. Et sur ce, bonne vidéo et n'oubliez pas, si ça vous a plu, achetez le jeu Bisous A scattered dream that's like a far off memory. A far off memory that's like a scattered dream. I want to line the pieces up, yours and mine. When I saw you, I would lose control. Made me feel like there was no tomorrow. Should have told you that you're beautiful. But the days pass and now it's so long ago. When I saw you, I would lose control Made me feel like there was no tomorrow Should have told you that you're beautiful But the days pass and now it's so long ago Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too When I saw you, 
lose control Made me feel like there was no tomorrow Should've told you that you're beautiful But the days pass and now it's so long ago You have arrived I've been to see him he looks a lot like you. I'm what's left. Or maybe I'm all there ever was. My name is of no importance. What about you? Do you remember your true name? Sora? Giving up already? If there are any other worlds out there, why did we end up on this one? This world has been connected. Well, who's there? Tied to the darkness. Sora, don't ever change. The door has opened. What? You understand nothing. Sora... Another dream about him. Man, doesn't that tick you off? Yeah, that's just wrong. The cipher has gone too far this time. I mean, it's true that stuff's been stolen around town, and we've got a score to settle with Cipher and everything. So, if he wants to think we did it, I can't really blame him. See. That's not what really bugs me. What really bugs me is that he's going around telling everybody we're the thieves. Now the whole town and their mothers are treating us like the Klepto Club. Have you ever been this ticked off before in your life? Because I haven't. Nuh-uh. Never. Now, what to do? We could find the real thieves. That would set the record straight. Hey, that sounds fun. But what about Cypher? First, we gotta clear our names. Once we find the real culprit, everyone will get off our backs. Uh... Oh no! They're gone! Our... are gone! Uh... 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 What? All are... gone? 
Huh? 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 You can't say... why not? But you do understand what I'm saying, right? Our... are gone. Stolen. And not just the... the word. They stole it, too. What kind of thief is that? Cypher could never have pulled that off. Yeah. All right. Time for some recon. Huh? His heart is returning. Doubtless he'll awaken very soon. Come on! That was low, you know? Oh, yeah? Nice comeback there, Blondie. What'd you say? Uh... You can give us back the... now. Yeah, you're the only ones who would take it, you know? That was undeniable proof that we totally owned you, lamers. So what did you do? Burn it? Huh. <laughs> Not that we need some... to prove that you're losers. Replay. <laughs> now you're talking! I guess if you get on your knees and beg, maybe I'll let it slide. <laughs> Roxas! Roxas, focus! Come on. Quit playing around and fight. Neo, loser! Cypher's not feeling so hot, you know? Tournament decides. Whoa! What was that? The thief?
What's this? I was his first customer after he took over the shop. So we took a picture together. It's a really nice photo. Oh. Hey, you just said photo. So, Roxas, tell us about the picture thief. Not much to say. The pictures were just lying there. Then how do we prove we weren't the ones who took them? <laughs> it's a girl. You look happy, Roxas. Do not. So, like... Anybody else notice that all the stolen pictures are of Roxas? Oh, so that's why everyone thought it was us. And Cypher didn't go around accusing us after all. Are they really all of me? Yep. See? Look. Right, every single one. Wouldn't it be weird if the thief wanted to steal the real Roxas or something? Come on, get serious. Why would anyone want to steal a bonehead like Roxas? Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Who's there? Who are you? Restoration at 12%. Organization miscreants. They found us. But why would the nobody steal photographs? Both are nothing but data to them. The fools could never tell the difference. We are running out of time. Namine must make haste. Come at you out of nowhere. As long as you continue to wield the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. Sora, go with them. Especially if you want to find your friends. Name's Goofy. I'm Sora. I'll go with you guys. The Heartless have great fear of the Keyblade. That's right. The Keyblade. So, this is the key. But the boy is a problem. He found one of the keyholes. A key? 
Key Blade? A Key Blade. What was that about? Oh! Sorry about that. Thanks. Do you guys think we'll always be together like this? I sure hope so. Huh? Where did that come from? Uh... Well, you know, just thinking out loud. Well, I doubt we could be together forever. But isn't that what growing up's all about? What's important isn't how often we see each other, but how often we think about each other. Right? <laughs> Get that off a of fortune cookie? That's it. No more ice cream for you. Man, today's turning out to be a drag. Maybe because of yesterday's memory thief. Nuh-uh. You know what it is? We don't want summer vacation to be over, that's all. So, how about this? We all go to the beach! And why do we go to the beach? Because we haven't gone once this entire vacation. Blue seas, blue skies. Let's just get on the train and go. No? Oh, come on. Maybe you forgot, but we're broke. Maybe you forgot I'm smart. Just two days to go. You and I have to make the finals. That way, no matter who wins, the four of us split the prize. Okay, you're on. You two are gonna clean up. Go get him. It's a promise. Nice work, everyone. Added to what we started with, we now have... Ta-da! 5,000 money! Sweet! Let's get tickets. We can't be together forever, so we'd better make the time we do have something to remember. Huh? Gotcha!
What? Roxas! Three minutes! Okay. Four students. Roxas, the money. Wait. No. Huh? He took it. Where are you going? Remember when I fell? I had the money before that. I bet that guy took it. Guy? He couldn't have gotten too far. What are you talking about? There was no guy. Huh? But he... There wasn't? Really? Oh, boy. There wasn't anyone... there? It's melting. Sorry. Cheer up already. That was definitely weird, though. Strange. You said it. Can you feel Sora? Can you feel Sora? Restoration at 28%. Namine. Hurry. Is it really that hard to make a beach? We'd be giving the enemy another entry point. And this? We can always buy some sea salt ice cream. <laughs> Objects from that town must be kept out of the real world. You can delete that. As the key bearer, you must already know. One must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. So many places I want to see. I know I'll get there someday. Thus, I do hereby dub the junior heroes. Hey, what do you mean, junior heroes? You rookies still don't understand what it takes to be a true hero. I... I wish for your freedom, Genie. Ow! Ow! Sally, why didn't I listen to you? Don't feel bad, Jack. We'll come up with another plan for Halloween. Next time, we'll do it together. Power! I am Moshu! Or are you too cool to play them now that you have the Keyblade? Riku? W what are you doing here? Did you find her? I still can't believe it. I really flew. Wait till I tell Kai- I wonder if she'll believe me. Probably not. I'm searching too. For your light? Don't lose sight of it. Sora! Where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my friends. They're waiting for me. Well, where are Donald and Goofy? Instead of worrying about them, you should be asking about her. Who are you? Huh?
Hey! Morning. Huh? Hello, Roxas. Uh, hi. And you are... I wanted to meet you at least once. Me? Yes, you. Olette dragged me along to go shopping. Hey, you want to come with us? Um, uh, wait. Did you just see that... He's stalling. Very well, then. We'll see you later, Roxas. Okay? It, yeah. Did she go to that haunted mansion? Chicken wuss. Who's that? I don't know, but they've already crossed the line. Find a weapon. Not good.
My name is Namine. Roxas. Do you remember your true name? Say no more, Namine. But if no one tells him, Roxas will... It's best he doesn't know the truth. Hey! You're that pickpocket! Whoa! Cypher, strike a pose, you know? How's this? That's totally perfect, you know? How about one more, you know? What's that for? Keepsake. Those freaks in the white jumpsuits are gone, you know? Cakewalk. What were those things? Outsiders, that's what. And if they don't wise up to the rules around here, I might have to take disciplinary measures. Oh yeah, Cypher's always looking after the town, you know? Chicken and out of the tournament tomorrow. We'll be waiting, you know. So you hung out with Cypher's gang today? N no, it it's not like that. Oh yeah. How was the beach? Wasn't that today? We didn't go. It wouldn't be the same without you, right? Sorry. Hey! How about we go tomorrow? We could get those pretzels, and... I promised I'd be somewhere. Oh. Oh! You and I have to make the finals. That way, no matter who wins, the four of us split the prize. Okay, you're on. You two are gonna clean up. Go get him. It's a promise. I'm out of here. Restoration at 48%. Was that Namine made of data? No. Namine hijacked the data herself. Look what she's done now. She's totally beyond my control. Calm down. It doesn't matter. As long as Namine accomplishes her goal, we needn't worry about what befalls Roxas. It's up to me. Only the Keyblade Master can open the secret door and change the world. Well, I'm not gonna betray Sora either. I'm my friends are my power. So your heart won this battle. It is I, Ansem. Lead me into everlasting darkness! Sora! Forget it! There's no way you're taking Kairi's heart! Kairi. We may never meet again. But we'll never forget each other. No matter where we are, our hearts will bring us together again. Take this. It's my lucky charm. Be sure to bring it back to me. Don't worry, I will. Promise? Don't ever forget 
Wherever you go, I'm always with you. What a mess. Summer's most sizzling clash. That's right. Today is the day for the struggle and title match. Who will be the one to break through the ranks and take on our champion Setzer? Cypher, you know? And who will leave today as our new struggle champion? Hayner Roxas! Fired up so you know what comes next. Let's struggle! Hey now, it's time to introduce today's combatants, the four bad boys who struggled their way through the preliminaries. Regular finalist and head of the Twilight Disciplinary Committee, Cypher. Completely out of nowhere. Who knew he'd make it so far this year? VV! An underground favorite and local attitude problem. Hayner! It's his first trip to the finals. And struggler number four, who happens to be my absolute favorite customer, Roxas! So, who will win this sweltering summer struggle? Who will take home the grand prize? The summa cum laude of struggle, the Four Crystal Trophy! And a chance to take on our defending champion, Setzer! It won't be long now, folks. I suggest our challengers go over the official struggle rules before we begin. Sorry about yesterday. What? You still worried about that? You need to learn to let that stuff go. I've got a lot on my mind. Sorry, man. Wait, what am I sorry for? Our first match of today's struggle tournament will be between Roxas and his best friend, Hayner. And the winner is... Roxas! Not even friendship will slow this kid down, and Hayner put up a great fight, too. I lost. Oh, I can't believe it. I guess I taught you well. I had a lot of fun fighting you. Yeah, well, I didn't, wise guy. Hey. Let's find a way to cheer you up. Nah, that's all right. 
Out of the way. You in a rush to lose? Don't mess with your elders. Whoa! Just look at those sparks fly. I guess Cypher didn't expect to fight one of his own boys. When did Vivi get so tough? You're mine! I... I'm not sure what just happened. Um, but the winner is... Vivi! In a positively blistering comeback. That's not Vivi. Huh? Thrash him. It looks like Cypher's withdrawn from the struggle for third place. So I'm in third now? Oh, baby! Keep it clean, fellas. And now, the match you've been waiting for. Roxas versus Vivi! Again? Again? Roxas, all right. Fight, fight, fight. You really don't remember. It's me. You know, Axel. Axel? Talk about blank with a capital B. Man, oh man. Even the dusks aren't gonna crack this mess. Wait a sec. Tell me what's going on. This town is his creation, right? Which means we don't have time for a Q&A. You're coming with me, conscious or not. Then you'll hear the story. Uh-oh. <sighs> What's going on? Number 13, Roxas, the Keyblade's Chosen One. Okay, fine. You asked for it. That's more like it. 
like it. So it was you. Raxus! This man speaks nonsense. Raxus! Don't let him deceive you! Raxus! 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 What? What just happened? Huh? How did I get here? Roxas! Ladies and gentlemen, Roxas! Our new top struggler! Roxas? Two, play fair now. You're at the top of the bracket. There's only room for one up here. Well, <laughs> may the best man win. Hey, Rucksack. How about you throw the match for me? Roxas, focus! Let me win, and I'll make it worth your while. Get real! Roxas, our underdog hero, versus Setzer, our defending champion. The winner of this match will be the true champion. That's bragging rights for a whole year, folks. Whatever you think is right, you're wrong. And that was a big mistake. As promised. Thanks a ton, Roxas. <laughs> One more treasure for us to share. I've got a present too, for all of us. Whoa. Oh. Uh. Uh. Do you feel like going out to the... 
the island? Caddis and Waka are all wrapped up in their ball game, and they won't go with me. Not today. Sorry. Aw, why not? Do you remember those boys who used to hang out with us? Riku? Yeah. I wonder whatever happened to him. I sure miss him. He's far away. But I know we'll see him again. Sure. Of course we will. And the other boy? What other boy? The one who was with Riku and me all the time. We played together on that island. His voice always used to be there. And now it's gone. I can't think of his face or his name. I feel awful about it. So I told myself, I'm not going to the island until I remember everything about him. Are you sure you didn't make him up? Domine? Namine, what's happening to me? Who are you? And that's not my name. I'm Kyrie. Kyrie, I know you. You're that girl he likes. Who? Please, a name. I'm Roxas. Okay, Roxas. But can you tell me his name? You don't remember my name? Thanks a lot, Kyrie. Okay, I guess I can give you a hint. Starts with an S. Are you okay? What's that? A letter. I wrote it yesterday. To the boy I can't remember. I said that no matter where he is, I'll find him. One day. And when I stopped writing, I remembered we made a promise. Something important. This letter is where it starts, I know it. Wow. I hope he gets it. He will. Starts with an S. Right? Sora? Restoration at 79%. His progress is astounding. So, what happened? Namine's encounter with Roxas put his heart in contact with Kairi's. And that, in turn, affected Sora. See? Namine. She's a wonder. She wasn't born like other nobodies. She can interfere with the hearts and memories of Sora and those aligned with him. But whose nobody is she? I could tell you. But first, perhaps you could tell me your true name. It's Ansem. <laughs> it's an honor, Ansem.
No way! It's too soon! You can't seriously get rid of him! It's an order. Why do you hesitate? You, who has been ruthless towards those who turned their backs on the organization. But it's not like that. He didn't betray us. He can't come back. If he doesn't return, you know what you must do. Or you will face the consequences. So you'll turn me into a dusk. All right, I'll do it if that's what you want. Dreaming. But which parts were the dream? three days left of summer vacation, so don't even mention that assignment. But we agreed we'd get it finished today. Yesterday. I fell off the station tower, didn't I? You wouldn't be here if you did. But man, that was a close one. Stop changing the subject. <sighs> okay already. You win. We'll do the homework. Stupid independent study. So, Anybody got any bright ideas for a topic? Maybe we could study the stuff that's happening to me. You know, the dreams and the, the guys in white. Forget it. Why? You know, things have been weird with you in the town since the photos were stolen, right? Well, tomorrow, we're all gonna search the town and find out what's been going on. Lots of people are helping out. All that for me? I'll go get some ice cream. Time has come. Our hunt for the Seven Wonders begins. Whoa! Find new rumors already? Nothing on Market Street. You twerps aren't gonna scoop us. We're going to the Terrace with you. Hainer, it's not a race. Well, it is now. <laughs> come on, we can all go.
Bolette, hurry! Huh. Aren't these the steps you talked about? The ones that count different going up and down? Mmm. Actually, it's the stupidest thing ever, but... What? Rai's the one who counted. He's like, every time I count, it's different, you know? <laughs> so, he just counted wrong? Uh... Hey, no worries. You know, that last wonder wasn't exactly wonderful. I understand. Say no more. But this next one's gonna be really great. Wonder number six. We got another lead. The ghost train mystery. Everybody knows about wonder number six. Yeah, well I didn't. Did you find out where the train runs? You can see it from Sunset Hill. If the rumors are true, it'll be here any minute. For they say the train is empty. No driver, no conductor, no passengers, no return. We've got to make it to the beach next year. Yeah, we better get jobs the second vacation starts. Good afternoon, slackers. What are you doing out here? What do you care? I don't. Tell me anyway. We're waiting for the ghost train. Waiting for the ghost train. <laughs> Why does looking at you always tick me off? I don't know. Maybe it's destiny. Destiny? In that case, let's be friends. I don't feel like cooperating with destiny. When have you ever cooperated with anything? I know. Tomorrow. Look! It's really true. And there's really no one aboard. What's the catch? There's got to be a catch, right? Then it's real? Let's go to the station. Let's go in. What? Um, you'll get hurt. Huh? The train will be arriving shortly. Come on. A train came from the beach. Th there was no driver, right? Let's go. Right? Let's go home and work on the paper. The rumors were bogus. The end. We can still make it sound good if we write about all the work we did. 
But what about the last one? The seventh wonder? Who cares? I do. Come on, Pence. Whatever. Roxas. <sighs> it's at that haunted mansion. You know something? Whoa. We were gonna check the mansion out tomorrow. It is the most suspicious place. Right. Even Cypher's gang was gonna help. Cypher? Yeah, Hainer asked him to. Roxas. Namine? This is... me? And Axel's here too. You are best friends. Very funny. Don't you want to know the truth? About who you really are? No one knows me better than me. <laughs> of course. But, I don't get what's been happening lately. You know these three, don't you? Yeah. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. They're from the dreams. About a year ago, some things happened. And I had to take apart the memories chained together in Sora's heart. But now... I'm putting them all back exactly the way they were. It's taken me a long time, but pretty soon, Sora will be his old self again. The process has been affecting you too, Roxas. You mean, the dreams? Yes. You and Sora are connected. And, in order for Sora to become completely whole again, he needs you. Me? What for? You hold half of what he is. He needs you, Roxas. Namine? Namine. Who are you? I'm a witch, with power over Sora's memories and those around him. A witch? That's what Diz called me. But... I don't know why I have this power. I just do. I'm not even sure there's a right way for me to use it. Hmm. I can't help you there. It's funny. Suddenly, I, I feel like I don't know myself at all. I guess I would like to know. What do you know about me that I don't? You... You were never supposed to exist, Roxas. What? How could you even say such a thing? Even if it were true. I'm sorry. I guess some things really are better left unsaid. Roxas! Roxas! Huh? Did you see her? Yeah. Watch the window. Closely. Ah, lame. That's just the curtains moving. 
There must be a draft somewhere. I'm surprised this old place even has curtains. Yeah. Well, let's head back to the usual spot. Hainer and her letter waiting. Hey guys, how'd it go? The girl in the window turned out to be a curtain flapping in the wind. I figured as much. The report's already done. All right. So, want to go find Hainer? He's probably at the station. You know, we only have two more days together. Huh? Summer vacation, remember? Oh. Right. Tomorrow, we search the town. Next day's the fair. The last day of summer. Don't say that. You'll give me an ulcer. Not if you explode from all that ice cream first. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you show him the train? Because he missed the trip to the beach. Hmm. That's almost kind of you. No. What about you? Are the holes in your memory starting to fill in? Yes. The haze is clearing. The same thing is happening to everyone who had ties to Sora. Very soon, to them, he'd be like a good friend who's gone away for a year. I've waited and now I want to know. What is it that you want? Revenge. Revenge? Now for the finishing touches. First, we must dispose of Namine. She did a splendid job with Sora, but it's high time she disappeared. Roxas isn't the only one who was never meant to exist. Take care of it, Ansem. Restoration at 97%. Gorge, is that all that's left of the worlds taken by the Heartless? Those worlds will be restored if we beat Ansem, right? But if we do beat him, and all these worlds become restored and disconnected, what's gonna happen to this place, and to us? All worlds begin in darkness, and all so end. The heart is no different. You see, darkness is the heart's true essence. That's not true! The heart may be weak, and sometimes, it may even give in. But I've learned that deep down there's a light that never goes out. Kingdom Hearts! Fill me with the power of darkness! You're wrong. I know now, without a doubt, Kingdom Hearts is light! Now, Sora, let's close this door for good! Take care of her. Kyrie! Sora! Ah! Kyrie! Remember what you said before? I'm always with you too. I'll come back to you. I promise! I know you will! We've got to find Riku and King Mickey. 
but uh, where do we start looking for that there door to the light? Here Gorge, that's the king's seal. Hey, have you seen King Mickey? Let's go. I've been to see him. He looks a lot like you. Who are you? Keyblade. Shut up. Man, I could not sleep last night. Guys? Huh? Look at what it's come to. I've been given these icky orders to destroy you, if you refuse to come back with me. We're... best friends, right? Sure, but I'm not getting turned into a dusk for... Wait a sec. You remember now? E yeah Great! But, you know, gotta make sure and all, so, uh... Um... What's our boss's name? Oh, can't believe this. Roxas, to the mansion. The time has come. Painter! Pence! Olette! The Roxas that I know is long gone. Fine. I see how it is.
Don't call me and then lock me out. Your mind's made up? Why did the Keyblade choose me? I have to know. You can't turn on the organization! Organization 13. They're a bad group. Bad? Or good? I don't know. They're a group of incomplete people who wish to be whole. To that end, they're desperately searching for something. What? Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Funny? It's just... I think... I've been running away from the question I really want to ask. What's gonna happen to me now? Just tell me that. Nothing else really matters anymore. You are... Nominate! There's no knowledge that has the power to change your fate. Even if it doesn't, I want to know. I have the right to know. A nobody doesn't have a right to know. Nor does it even have the right to be. But what is a nobody? Diz, we're out of time. Too many nobodies. Roxas. Nobody's like us are only half a person. You won't disappear. You'll be whole. I'll disappear? No further outbursts. No, you won't disappear. You'll... Wait. <sighs> Roxas, we will meet again. And then we can talk about everything. I may not know it's you. And you may not know it's me, but we will meet again, someday soon. I promise! Let her go! Nominate!
Why do you have the Keyblade? Shut up! Will it work? If we can maintain the simulated town until Namine finishes chaining together Sora's memories. What will happen to Roxas? He holds half of Sora's power within him. In the end, he'll have to give it back. Until then, he'll need another personality to throw off his pursuers. Poor thing. It's the fate of a nobody. Simply amazing, Roxas. Axel, you really do remember me this time. I'm so flattered! But you're too late! Make it all stop. You get on their bad side and they'll destroy you! No one would miss me. That's not true. I would. Axel. Let's meet again in the next life. Yeah, I'll be waiting. Silly. Just because you have a next life. Donald. Goofy? At last, the Key Blade's chosen one. Who are you talking to? Me? Or Sora? To half of Sora, of course. You reside in darkness. What I need is someone who can move about the realm of light and destroy Organization 13. Why? Who are you? I am a servant of the world. <laughs> and if I'm a servant, then you should consider yourself a tool at best. Was that... Was that supposed to be a joke? Cause I'm not laughing! Ugh. My apologies. This is only a data-based projection.
come over here. I hate you so much. You should share some of that hatred with Sora. He's far too nice for his own good. No! My heart belongs to me! Sora. You're lucky. Looks like my summer vacation is over. Sora! Who's there? Sora! Sora! Wake up! Yep. Restored peace to the world. Found Kyrie. Oh yeah. And then we went to look for Riku. I think that's right so far. What? What does your journal say, Jiminy? Gee, there's only one sentence. Thank Namine. Hmm. I wonder who that is. Uh, well, what do you say we find out where we are? You know, I think I've been to this town. What's the town? Hmm. Guess I must have imagined it. What do you want? Uh, nothing. Just wondering what was back here. Now you know. This is our spot. Um... What? You're new around here, right? I'm Pence. Hayner, nice to meet you. But we got stuff to do, so catch you later. My name's Olette. Hey, did you finish up the summer homework yet? Independent studies are the worst, huh? Homework? Hey, what are your names? 
Oh, sorry. Uh, where's Sora? Donald? And Goofy? Hey there. Sora, Donald, Goofy, we just met someone who was looking for you. He sure seemed in a hurry. He had a black coat on, so I couldn't see his face. But he had these big round ears. Where'd you see him? At the station. The station, thanks. Well, you'd better get back to that assignment. Later. Oh boy, the kid's trying to find us. Yeah, let's get to the station. got to board the train and leave town. The train knows the way. Here. Your Majesty. The king? Was that really him? It could have been. Yep, I know it was. Now we know he's okay. The king was locked in the realm of darkness, right? Uh-huh. But we just saw him. Yep. And if the king is here, that means Riku's here. He's gotta be. Well, I'm gonna go look for Riku. Then he and I can go back to the islands together. Kairi's there waiting for us. What are you two gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> Of course, Sora. Do you have to ask? <laughs> hey, what's so funny? Your face. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, guys? Let's stick together for one more journey. To where again? We have to board the train. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Wait up! Huh? Hey, Sora? What? Nothing, but... We came to see you off. It just seemed like something we ought to do. Oh. Really? Thanks. You should hurry and get your tickets. Right. They're the same. Yeah. Three tickets, please. I can't help feeling like we won't see this town again. Why not? You're thinking too much. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go. 
Bye. Hey, Sora. You sure we haven't met before? Positive. Why do you ask? I don't know. Together. Right. See ya. You know? I'm sad. We'll be back. Yeah, we can visit Hainer and those guys again. Guess that's that. Let's go. Go where? It's not like we have homes to return to. We don't exist, remember? Yes, it's true. We may not have homes. But there is some place I want to go. And someone I want to see. Same here. So. You think you might let us go? I know you're here to get rid of us, but... Diz... wants to get rid of me? Go. You sure about this? I owe you both. For what? Castle Oblivion. You helped us. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Thank you. <laughs> there goes our ride. What's going on? <laughs> I sent some of my lackeys inside to see if the master of this here tower's as big and tough as they say. 
Word is he's a real powerful sorcerer, which would make him the perfect bodyguard for me. See, it don't matter how tough he is. Once he's a heartless, he'll do as I say. Uh-huh, well... That's right. They're those things that come out of the darkness in folks' hearts. Why, with all those heartless at her side, my dear friend Maleficent is gonna conquer everything. And since I got me a debt to pay, I'm going round to a bunch of different worlds and building an army of Heartless, special for her. Oh, why am I talking to you pipsqueaks anyway? Go on, Scram, I'm behind schedule as it is. You ought to find something nicer to do. Oh, says who? Huh? Oh, it's you! Pete? What are you two Nimrods doing here? What are you doing here? You know him? We sure do. Pete's been causing trouble for ages. His Majesty banished him to another dimension a long time ago. I wonder how he escaped. <laughs> you want to know how, eh? Well, Maleficent busted me out, that's how. And now your world, no, 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 all the worlds, are going to belong to yours truly. Because uh, Maleficent's going to help me conquer them. Maleficent, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you laughing at? Why, Maleficent's power is so great that... She's toast. Huh? Sorry, but Maleficent can't help you now. What do you mean? <laughs> you! So you're the ones that did it. Well, we might have had something to do with it. Heartless Squad, round up! You just wait. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, messes with the mighty Pete. So, mighty Pete, who lives in this tower anyway? Oh, you don't know, eh? Well, it's old Yen Sid. Of course, he's probably a heartless by now. Master Yen Sid lives here? Yen Sid is the king's teacher. Wow, sounds powerful. It's a good thing we're on the job, then. So, the worlds aren't at peace after all? Master Yenson, it's an honor. Hey there. Sure, show sure some respect. So, you are Sora. Now then, have you seen the king yet? Yes, we did, Master. But we didn't get a chance to talk to him. Yes, the king has been quite busy of late. Therefore, it would seem that the task of instructing you three falls upon my shoulders. You have a perilous journey ahead of you. You must be well prepared. You mean, we have to go on another quest? I was looking forward to finding my friend Riku, so we could go back to the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the islands, whether you will return alone 
or with your friend. And whether or not the islands will still be there. And the key that connects them all is you, Sora. I'm... the key? Chosen wielder of the Keyblade, you are the key that will open the door to light. This book contains valuable knowledge you will need for your journey. Study it carefully. Once you have finished, we will speak of the enemies you will surely confront. But wait a sec. How come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer, but while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Gorge, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them heartless would go away. Now, it is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. If one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. <coughs> the heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence, for you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies. They don't exist. Now then, the being you see before you is known as a dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness, but... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13. While heartless act on instinct, nobody is function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. 
What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the king first. But where could he be? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the king must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the Realm of Darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. Those look a bit too small for you. Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gore, Sora, you sure are growing fast. Uh, I guess. <laughs> Me, you guys, Riku, and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean, six of us, there's nothing to worry about, right? Yeah. Well, look who's here, dears. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. I'll do the designing. No, that will never do. Oh, now, now, dears. But don't you like this better? Hold on. Are you certain? Blue. Ah, uh, would you just decide? <gasps> oh, 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 well. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. Oh my. Oh, it's lovely. Oh yes, he does look very dashing. Now, those aren't ordinary garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. Wow! Whoa! Wow! Two Keyblades! This journey's going to be twice as difficult as your last. <sighs> your garments also have other powers. But you'll have to discover what they are as you continue on your journey. Okay, I'll do my best. And thanks a lot. So you guys ready to go? Now, now, just a moment. Because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That means the pathways between them have disappeared. How do we get around? Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways along which you may travel. 
These pathways may be utilized by unlocking special gates. How these gates are opened, I'm afraid I do not know. However, the Keyblade will serve as your guide. When a beam of light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the Gummy Ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties. As do our hearts. Our hearts are connected. That is correct. Got it. But be warned. As you proceed, the Heartless and the Nobodies will be using their own paths. Corridors of darkness to travel from world to world. They may be attempting to link these dark pathways to the gates between the worlds. How gets that for? Now then, that is all the information I can give to you. Go forth, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's get going. Master Legend! We sure do appreciate the help. My goodness, what's that? Haven't we seen this somewhere before? Yes, dear. I wonder whose it was. Oh, Malefa! No, we mustn't remember her name. Oh, dear. She was a mean old witch. Oh, no. The memories are coming back. What'll we do? Oh, what'll we do? We should tell Master Yen Sid. Yes, that's what we must do. Hurry. Maleficent! Sora, how you doing? It's your favorite gummy engineers here, ready for duty, Chip. And Dale! Happy flying! Only one? That's no good. Wait, I think it's a world we know. Maleficent! Maleficent! Maybe they really did finish her off. Ooh, this castle sure ain't what I expected. No shine, no nothing. Oh, now what's gonna happen to our plan? It's Hollow Bastion. Gorge looks kind of different now. Oh, you got them to get a good okay. Uh oh, looks like we're gonna have to do some fighting. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, what's going on? That's the town's defense mechanism. Yuffie! Look out! I see you're still in top form. What'd you expect? Looks like you're doing okay. Well, what did you expect? I want the others. Great! Hey, Yuffie. Have you seen the King and Riku? Nope. But I had a feeling I'd see you guys again. We may never meet again but we'll never forget each other. Is that supposed to be Leon? <laughs> Everybody's working on stuff over at Merlin's house. Come on! Meet the Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee. We missed you. Well... If you ain't in top shape... I knew it. Knew what? A while back, everyone suddenly remembered you guys, all at the same time. You remembered? Wait, does that mean you forgot about us? What? So where have you guys been all this time? We were sleeping. Where? In cold storage? It doesn't matter. This is great. Everyone's together again. So, um, we're trying to find Riku and the King. Have you seen him? Right. Sorry, but let us know if there's anything we can do to help, okay? Okay, thanks. Don't go thanking us just yet. Hollow Bastion's got a problem. A big problem. You mean, like, nobodies? And heartless? That's right! Sounds like you could use our help. Then let's cut to the chase. Sora, Donald, Goofy, we were hoping the three of you might give us a hand around here. Like we're gonna say no? Hmm. I forgot who I'm dealing with. What do you mean by that? Just think of it as a sort of Leon compliment. Follow me to the Bailey. There's something you need to see. Oh, I thought it was you. Right on time. That's Brian! Sora and the gang said they're gonna help out. Splendid. We'll count on you. Right. 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 Ah, yes. Uh, did you give them the cards, dear? Oh. Here. They're presents for you. Leon thought you might like to have them. Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee Honorary Member. What was your plans? Kinda cool, huh? Hey, thanks, Leah. Huh? Oh, no! We're supposed to be at the Bailey!
Look at that. Oh. We want to restore Hollow Bastion to what it used to be. Who knows? Maybe even something better. There's still a lot to do. But I'm sure we can handle everything. Except... For that... And that... We'll handle them. Well, that's good to hear. So, Sora, do you know what's going on then? There's this guy, Pete, who's been going around plotting with the Heartless. But he's not smart enough to tie his own shoes. The ones we need to worry about are the nobodies. Hambo's Organization 13 guy's in charge, too. You called? You're doing well. Who's that? This calls for a celebration. The Keyblade. A truly marvelous weapon. Were it only in more... capable hands. <laughs> <laughs> Show yourselves! Organization 13! Good, now we can settle this. What a shame. And here I thought we could be friends. What's the big idea? Oopsie Daisy. Move! Now, do you think that's polite? Shutting me down like that? I said get out of the way! As if. You can talk all you want, but that won't change a thing. Then we are gonna make you move! See, that would work. If I were just any old dude. Except I'm not. I'm with the organization. Nothing any old about me. Huh. Tough talk for someone who stood on the sidelines while his nobody flunkies did the fighting. Oh dear. I think you got the wrong impression. You gonna cry? As if. Why don't I remind you how tough the crowd you're dealing with really is? Remind me? <sighs> <laughs> That's right! He used to give me that same exact look. I guess you think you can psych me out by saying really random stuff. Gee, I just don't know. Be a good boy now. Wait! That's he got away. That was weird. Who gave him the same look? You know, I think he was just trying to confuse you. Yeah, you're right. Only one me. The Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee Honorary Member. <laughs> wow! Huh? What's this? Gorsh, you think?
Now I get it. That must have been the gate Yen Sid talked about. I'm fine. Sorry to run, Leon. But other worlds are calling. Organization 13. They look tough. Be careful out there. See you soon. Do my eyes deceive me? Does he really have the power to wield the Keyblade? He's nothing but a boy. Give him a chance. It means he's straight as an arrow. He's pure of heart. Unlike all of us here. He had better be. Or else he's worthless. I truly hope he's enjoying himself on his adventure. <laughs> Maybe he'd like a hand to determine his fate. Hey, as long as it works in our favor, we can let him do what he wants for now. Then we'll all jump in if needed. Those are bold words coming from you. Are you saying you'll volunteer to take care of it if things go wrong? Huh? What? M me? No, you have the wrong guy. I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> you act as though you have a conscience. When was the last time any one of us felt anything? Truer words were never spoken. Well, I suppose the fun will have to wait. Do you know what happens to those who lose their true purpose? Inevitably, they destroy themselves. Gentlemen. The hero of the Keyblade has embarked on a new adventure. Make sure it is one he will remember. Now go. See that, Mulan? It's Shan Yu, leader of the Hun army. Come on, girl. This is your big chance. I can see it now. Fa Mulan, whoops, public enemy number one. You're gonna be famous. I'm talking A-list. Mushu, I'm not sure. I haven't even joined the army yet. I have to take my father's place to preserve the Fa family honor. I just hope I don't get discovered. Whatever. You're just scared. Admit it. Aren't you? Hmm. Huh? Uh-huh. Yes. Let's get the jump on him. Gorge! Maybe we better look before we leap. <gasps> ah! <laughs> ha! Ah! Is that Mushu? That's right. I know you heard of me. I'm little, lethal, and legendary. Now y'all scram before I get my dragon dander up. Hey, Mushu. We missed you. Yeah, well, you better hope I miss you, or else you're... you're... Sora! Donald! Goofy! Do you know them? Know them? Man, we used to kick all kinds of bad guy butt together. Yeah, you know I help these guys out of a lot of tight spots. Cause I'm a mighty dragon, right? Something like that. And you are? I'm Mulan. Um, <clears throat> no, uh, I, I, I mean... Ping! Mulan Ping. Just Ping. I am Ping, son of Fazu. You know Mushu? 
Mushu's one of my family's guardians. We didn't know we were borrowing somebody as important as a family guardian. Yeah, that's right. And that puts you three up to your eyeballs in debt to ping here. Well, guess what, kiddies? It's payback time. Mushu. Ah, they don't mind. Ain't that right? Hmm, sounds fair. See, Ping here was just on his way to join the Imperial Army. We gotta go find the other recruits over at the training camp. Would you join us? It'll be easier to fit in if I'm with guys like you. What do you mean, fit in? Well, uh, uh, don't, don't worry about that. You're pretending to be a boy, aren't you? Huh? <laughs> You're a girl? You didn't notice? Not me. I think it's working. I don't know. Those two would fall for anything. I'm right here. Remember, girl. And lay. About time we got some grub. Hey, no cutting. <laughs> Back off. <laughs> 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 A space in line! I wonder what they're serving for lunch today. Naka sandwiches. That does it! Please! Please? What a girl. Uh, knock it off. Knock what off? You punched me. What a shrimp! What, who you calling a shrimp, hand and lips? I'm a bona fide guardian dragon. L let's just get back in line, okay? Whose side are you on? I just got slugged. Want some more? Soldiers, get back in line.
Captain! Don't overdo it, Captain. It's just a scratch. Oh. <gasps> Captain, the enemy, where did they go? They went toward the summit. We'll stop them. It kinda is our fault. Right. You mean my fault? Sean, you and the Heartless did this, not us. Captain, if you track down the villagers, we'll handle this. Let's go. Stand back! We'll handle this! nothing I should never have doubted you from now on you have my trust thank you captain oh, man first she uses me as a lighter then she turns me into a cannonball the head answers is gonna hear about this you know that's it I give up I can't take this no more come on Mulan let's quit this charade and go home girl no shoe what Can't be. Ping! Captain! Oh boy, you're okay! You all knew, didn't you? You knew Ping was really a woman in disguise. Boo! Uh. I can't believe you lied to me. The punishment for high treason and dishonoring the army is death. Get out of my sight! Now! You're all dismissed! But, Captain... My debt is repaid. The Emperor is waiting! Move out! Mulan, I blew it. Thank you, everyone. Sorry I got you in trouble. It's no big deal. So, Ping, I mean, uh, Mulan, what are you gonna do now? Go back home. 
You know your daddy's gonna be steamed as a chicken dumpling. Relax. We'll take our share of the blame. Thanks. You're all wonderful friends. He's alive! He's heading for the Imperial City. We've got to warn Shang. Shang! Shan Yu is alive. He's headed this way. And why should I believe you this time? But she's telling you the truth. Secure the courtyard, and you can save the Emperor. That's an order. to me. Some honey bun. Oh yeah! Mulan's the best. Mulan's the best. Now wait a minute, I'm the best. Mushu's the best. Mushu's the best. I've heard a great deal about you, Fagolan. You stole your father's armor, ran away from home impersonated an Imperial soldier. You deceived your commanding officer, shamed the entire Chinese army, 
and dishonored your family name. We get the picture. You're a young woman. And in the end... Ow. You have saved us all. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Your Excellency. Captain Lee. Take this, so the world will know what it is you have done for China. Thank you. Mulan. Yes? Sora. Sir. Donald. Goofy. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you? Is that all there is to say, Captain? If you wish to win the heart of Fa Mulan, China's bravest woman, you'll have to be a bit more eloquent than that. <laughs> Can I get an autograph? Thanks for everything, Sora. Now they gotta let me go back to being a guardian. They gotta! But Mushu, I thought you already were a family guardian. But, oh, <laughs> uh, no, no, don't even worry about that. That's just real technical, just for us guardians. You tricked us! No, 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 no. See, I, I just, uh, you know, I just didn't want to bog y'all down with all the guardian needs. See, it's very complex, a lot of fine print, you wouldn't understand. Huh? Guess it's about time to be moving on. You shall be missed. Is it okay if we come back to visit? Of course. We will look forward to your return. You two play nice. Whoa, watch it, soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Sora, <laughs> Donald, yeah. Goofy. Yeah. Hey, what is this place? It's huge! And sort of gloomy, don't you think? I wonder who lives here. <laughs> hey, does anybody else recognize that? Hey, that's the beast! Yeah. Maybe we should check up on him. Look! Enough already. <laughs> Just 
just in time. This many heartless around, something must be up. Why do you have to do that? Shh. Oh, what am I going to do? You're here. Donald. <laughs> Sora. Goofy. Hiya. Oh. This must be it. There's nobody here. You mean there's nobody to rescue? <sighs> Did someone say rescue? Oh. Shh. Keep quiet. It might be what? them. Huh? Oh, they look like nice boys to me. We are nice. We're your friends. Yeah. Bell sent us to find you. Wow. wow. I'm Sora. Donald. Goofy. I am self-winding, sir. I am not goofy. I'm glad you're okay. 
It is we who are overjoyed to see you. Uh, Did somebody put a spell uh, on you guys no, too? No, no. Yes, that's right. You've heard. It was the Enchantress. It seems so long ago. It was a cold winter's night. An old beggar woman came to the castle and asked for shelter. But the master of this castle, that is, of course, the prince, Stop that! Put me down this instant! Thank you. It's time you dealt with Belle. She's scheming to take everything you have. This castle, your precious rose, and then your life. Trust no one. Feed your anger. Only anger will keep you strong. I've had enough of strength. There's only one thing I want. What? To love and be loved in return. Who could ever love a beast? See? She has accomplices. Hey, Prince. Cogsworth. What happened? Well, Master, uh, you see, that is, how shall I say, uh, actually, um... Well, you put everybody down there in that dungeon. I did what? Uh, you did. Who was that guy you were talking to? The one in black? <gasps> Zaldan. <sighs> That's his name. He came from the darkness. He used my anger to control me. He took all my sorrow, my sadness, my pain, and turned it all into rage. There was nothing I could do. I could no longer see the truth. Well, oh, B. That must be why you threw all of your friends down there into the dungeon. You wanted to make sure that you didn't hurt them, right? Was that it? Was it to protect them? Sure. We know you're good inside. He's right, Master. We've all seen how kind you can be. After all, Belle can see the goodness in your heart, but I'm afraid you've yet to... Belle! I've mistreated her. I've mistreated her and been so selfish. She didn't say anything about that. 
She'd never tell anyone of my cruelty. She's too good. You see, I'm afraid he judges himself far too harshly. Why don't you just go talk to her? But... No excuses! Come on, we'll go with you. I'm warning you! You'll be sorry! Belle! Where are you? So you think. Zaldan! Farewell. Uh. What does he want here? He must be with Organization 13. <sighs> Ever heard of the Nobodies? When a strong-hearted person turns into a heartless, a Nobody is created too. See, the Organization, they've got control of all the Nobodies. That's right! And they were gonna make you into a Heartless. That way they could get that nobody of yours and have control over it. You're all right. Bell! It myself. I hope I haven't done anything to hurt you. Forgive me. I know you weren't yourself. You don't have to apologize. But I had hoped that you might have changed a little bit. I wish you could start trusting me. I am afraid time is running short. What do you mean? Remember the rose? Shrap the beast's love? Precisely. You see, if the master can learn to love and earn love in return before the last petal falls, the spell will be broken. Really? You think he's gonna make it? We think so. Yup, I think you're right. I hope you're right. Have to go? Yeah. Now, no more arguing, okay? Huh? <gasps> oh. We'll see to it. Take care, dears. You are welcome here anytime. 
If you hear anything about Riku, or the King, the Heartless, the organization, anything at all, let us know. Okay, gotta go. Oh? Hey, wait a minute. Is the ship moving all on its own? Yup, looks like we're headed toward Hollow Bastion. I wonder what's up. <laughs> Come on! Time, did you? Oh, was it you who summoned us, Merlin? Yes, yes. But it seems I used too much power in doing so, and those infernal heartless. Oh. So what's up? Well, I, I happen to stumble across this in the Zero District. Pooh's storybook. That's right. I know you're a good friend of Winnie the Pooh, Sora. That's why I summoned you. And when I did, I was attacked by the Heartless. Of course, I fought back with some rather powerful magic, but then I began to fear the book would be damaged, so I... I uh, oh, now, just a moment. Uh, Leon and the others need to hear this, too. I, I, I'd better go find them. Be back in a jiffy. <laughs> I wonder how Pooh's doing. Want to find out? Yeah. Sora! Cover for me, okay? I wonder if Pooh's home. Pooh Bear, how you doing? Finding enough honey lately? Oh, yes. In fact, I was just about to do my stoutness exercises. Would you like to join me, Sora? Sure, I'm game. Huh? Think it's okay? Gorge, maybe you better go back and make sure Pooh's all right. But what about Merlin? Well, I guess we could explain. Great.
poo. I'm so glad you're okay, Poo. And I'm glad you came to visit. But you see, I was just about to begin my stoutness exercises. Perhaps we could visit a bit later. Somebody I don't know. Oh, sure. So, how's Piglet these days? I don't think I know anyone by that name. Now where was I? Oh yes, my stoutness exercises. Poo? Hey, Poo? Something very weird is happening here. Maybe I better go back and ask Merlin about this. Sure, this is the Colosseum? It's that way! Oh, guess we were a little off. <coughs> Heartless! <coughs> Thanks, but I'm fine. And you're supposed to be? I'm Sora. He's Donald, and that's Goofy. We came to see how Hercules is doing. You know Wonder Boy? Yeah, cause we're heroes too! <laughs> you mean Junior Heroes, Donald? <laughs> Looks like we have a friend in common. Name's Megara. My friends call me Meg. Dig these freaks up. Jeez Louise. Oh, they're nothing but troubled, a whole lot of them. So, uh, what are you gonna do about Hercules? He's made mincemeat out of every fighter you sent at him. <laughs> Pretty soon, the underworld's gonna be standing room only. Say, why don't you just pick somebody already dead and save him the trouble? <laughs> dead. That. that is good. And I know just the warrior. Wow! Wow! 
Well, I'm scared too, Donald. ADs, come out! By the by, uh, what's down there? Just the underworld's deepest dungeon. <laughs> this time I'm bringing out the mother of all bad guys. You don't say. Well, maybe I should go. the deal I'm gonna offer you. I let you out of the slammer. No strings, you'll be free as a bird. And all for one little job. Fight Hercules in the Colosseum to the death! This is my story, and you're not part of it. Did you forget who you're talking to? I am the Lord of the Dead! <laughs> no wonder no one wants to die. You are fired! Oh, Candles! You again? Fight! Get up! That's it. That's it. Yeah. Is that all you got? Yeah. That's it. Something's wrong. I feel kind of funny. That's right. See, that's the thing. In the underworld, heroes are zeros. It comes to the territory. Go now. But I've got to talk to Hades. What was that? Can't fight him here. We have to go. Now! Some kind of hero? No, I'm no hero. I'm just an. Huh? Or. Whoa. My name. I'm Sora. Dragon. Go free. Whoa. It seems we were fated to meet. Maybe you need a guardian. Guardian? Thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> I got Heartless all over the underworld now, so you can leave those pipsqueaks to me. <laughs> Look, pal, you just keep working on turning Hercules into a Heartless, then he'll be all mine. This is my underworld, you idiot! I'll handle this myself! Cerberus, go! What? I'm closed! We just got a book! Come on! Open! Will that open it? Yeah. I think so. Hurry!
Come on, Wonder Boy, play hooky for a day. For old time's sake. They came to see me. They came to see a hero. I can't let them down. <sighs> Don't worry, Meg. I'll be fine. What does a hero need rest for, huh? <laughs> See ya. Hey. Sora, don't let me down. Let me see if I've got this right. That brat's keyblade works on any lock. That's right! <laughs> have I ever told you about the killer coliseum we have right here in the underworld? It makes the one upstairs look like an Olympic kiddie pool. Then that's the place we're gonna put an end to hurt the jerk's winning streak. Problem. Zeus locked it tight. Oh! <laughs> oh? Bingo! All we gotta do is swipe that key, and then reopen the Underdrome. Hate to tell you, but that key is kinda particular. It won't work for just anybody, and that kid ain't no pushover. <laughs> I think this calls for a woman's touch. Sora! Donald! Goofy! When'd you get here? Hey, Herc! Howdy there! You on another adventure? Yeah, tracking down some friends, wiping out some heartless. Junior heroes always busy. You know it. Hey champ, how you feeling? Better rest up for tomorrow's match. Nobody's gonna pay to see a worn out hero. Gabish? Remember what I told you. Victory in the games comes down to two simple words. Eat, bathe, sleep. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hey, if it ain't the junior heroes. Looking good, Phil. Never better. How you guys been? Have you earned your true hero wings yet? Uh... Nope, you ain't got what it takes. What? So, what's up?
wrong you're here on this? Feeling under the weather? You know, I thought staying in perfect shape was part of the hero job description. You know what I'm saying. Oh, right. Hades, we gotta talk. Ah. I came to share a bit of mildly interesting news. Seems your dear, sweet little nutmeg went and got herself lost in the underworld. <laughs> you mean you kidnapped her? Well, maybe. <laughs> but why get caught up in the details? Uh, uh, uh. You can't leave now. Okay, you've got a very important match today against um, the bloodthirsty Hydra. I mean, if you don't stick around, who knows what kind of accidents might happen. Yeah, accidents you cause. Like I said, details, who needs them? You're just a coward. Ah, well, can't all be heroes. Can you handle this? You got it! We're heroes! You and your heroes, Donald. You take care of the Hydra. We'll handle the rest. I'm counting on you. You gotta find Meg. Roxas? Excuse me? Roxas? Oh, it's no use. Huh? What are you talking about? Let's see here. If the subject fails to respond, use aggression to liberate his true disposition. Right. Did they ever pick the wrong guy for this one? You're bizarre. Oh, he's gotta be the thief! Now that's just plain rude. Dance, water, dance! It's over! That's not bad, Roxy. Roxas, come back to us. Guy's a broken record. Hey, look! Let's go. Meg needs our help.
Almost there. <laughs> nah, that's what I call a key. Gee, thanks for your help. Now have a nice day. Sora, behind you! <laughs> What's wrong? Can't fight in the underworld? Oh, boo hoo hoo! <laughs> Better think again. There's too many. Let's go. Sorry, I'm late. Get Meg out of here. I'll meet you back at the Coliseum. What about you? I'm gonna show these guys what happens when they mess with a true hero. Now wait a sec! Cool. Sora, I won't leave him. You'll be okay. Look, even Herc has his limits. He can't keep winning forever. Then we'll go back him up. Get back out of here! Gives me the creeps. I'll deal with you nitwits next time. Oh. Could today possibly get any better? <laughs> this time, Wonder Breath is going down for good. Jim, you're safe! I failed. It's not your fault. I left everyone unprotected. Hades was right. I'm just a, a washout. Ah, come on, champ. I didn't train you to think like that. Wonder Boy. Phil's right. This is no time to beat yourself up. I'm some hero. Don't suppose you got room for one more. We're in. Yeah. 
I let you down. I'm just... <sighs> no use. It's not your fault. Hey, even a god would be exhausted. She's right. Give yourself a chance to rest. There won't be any games for a while anyway. Don't worry about Wonder Boy here. I'll look after him. Sora. Donald. Goofy. I owe you big time. Hey, it's no big deal. Just let us know if Hades or the Heartless start acting up. We'll take care of it. Yeah, that's what heroes are for. When did you three make Hero? Let's save that for another time. We have to hit the road. Okay, don't be strangers. Gorsh, I hope you feel better soon, Hercules. Yeah. Oh, well, take care, you guys. Stay a little longer next time. We got some serious training to catch up on. Well, time to go. Oh, I almost forgot. The Olympus Stone. And where is everyone else? Beats me. They must have had some other matters to deal with. Matters? You mean they have more important affairs to attend to than my return? Well, see, there's this Organization 13 that keeps getting in the way. Let those fools play their little game. But what about that runt with the Keyblade? He's been a real pain, too. Oh, has he? Very well, then. I suppose you'd best tell me what's happened during my absence. Oh, hmm. Now I wonder where that old album could be. Queen Minnie! It's horrible! <laughs> There's real sharp thorns everywhere! Oh, King Mickey, I wish you could hear me. The castle is in danger. We've got to do something soon. Donald? Goofy? Where are you? This is your castle. Must be nice to be home, huh? Well? You know, something just don't feel quite right. Why? <laughs>
Your Majesty Twin Many will back. You're here. Your Royal Highness, did you happen to summon us? Yes. Where's the king? Excuse him, this is our friend Sora. <gasps> Sora! The king told me all about you in his letters. He said you're a very brave young man. So, do you know where he is? <sighs> your Majesty, what your heart was doing in your castle? Oh my, so those are the heartless. Don't worry, we'll take care of them. I know I can count on you, Sora. Now there's something I'd like all of you to come and see. Would you please escort me to the audience chamber? What? <gasps> I forgot to warn everyone else in the castle about the danger. We must be sure they're hidden somewhere safe. Okay, we'll go tell them. We just gotta split up, Donald. I'll make sure that everyone knows what's going on. No, Sora, you just get lost. Okay, then I'll stay with the Queen. Good. Alrighty then, see you later. Um, the audience chamber, right, ma'am? Yes, Sora. Let's be on our way. Ha! This way! Yeah! Let's go! Light! Just one moment. As soon as the trouble started, I made sure to seal this room. Now then, shall we? The room below is called the Hall of the Cornerstone. Our castle has always been safe from worlds that are evil. Thanks to the Cornerstone of Light, which we keep down there. The Cornerstone of Light? This is the castle's cherished cornerstone. Oh, but look! The thorns, they must be the work of someone very evil. I wonder what this could mean. Huh? Magnificent! No way! Well, well, well. What have we here? If it isn't the wretched Keyblade holder and his pitiful lackeys. Ah, now you're gonna deal with me! All in good time. I promise you'll be able to partake of my vengeance, but you must be patient. Just what are you doing here, Maleficent? Ah, Queen Minnie. Radiant as always. I'm here on a property venture. I want this castle for my own. However, it's a bit too bright for what I have in mind. I suppose I'll just have to fill every room with my personal touch of darkness. You'd better stop right now if you know what's good for you. Ooh, how frightening. 
Very well. I'll stop. Just as soon as the castle belongs to me. <laughs> what a hag. Nothing like this has ever happened before. I looked through all the records in the library, but I couldn't find a single clue. Oh! Huh? We should go ask somebody who knows lots of stuff that ain't in any book. Merlin the Russian! Yes, that's perfect. Merlin just might know something about this mess. Let's ask his advice. We saw him in Hollow Bastion, right? Yeah, let's go. Anybody home? Merlin! The castle's in danger. <laughs> what is all that racket? Oh, I thought, oh, it's, it's you. It looks like you've uh, learned a bit since the last time I saw you. Really? <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's talk about the problem. It's magnificent. She's back. Where? Inside the castle? Yup, and Heartless, too. Oh, dear. Magnificent wants to send over the whole task in order. She filled the whole goodness stone with tiny bears and she's going to fill it with dirt. There's Heartless in every part of the castle. The queen is in danger. What? Perhaps I'd better just see for myself. Mm-hmm. Interesting. What's happening, Merlin? This is not good. I in fact, I I'm afraid it's quite serious. <clears throat> What's that? My boy, that is a gateway to a special world. Someone in that world is responsible for what's going on in this castle. Of that, I'm certain. Oh, boy! We knew we could count on you, Merlin. Then we should go get him. Wait a moment. The perpetrators must be stopped, of course, but there's something else to do first. Somewhere in that world, there should be another door that's identical to this one. I believe our enemies are utilizing that door. As long as it remains open, the castle will be in grave danger. Listen carefully, Sora. You must find that door, and when you do, lock it with your keyblade. Got it. You can count on us! And now, one more thing. Uh, you're heading into a very special world. While you're there, the nature of that world may tempt you to do something dark. Uh, you must resist that temptation at all costs. What do you mean? You'll know soon enough. I have faith in you, my lads. Hey, look! There's the cornerstone of light! What's going on? Everything's black and white. Oh, this is kind of wrong. Um, um. Deja vu? Really? Have you been here before? Hey, you! See any bad guys around here? Why, I ought to... Nah, I don't have time to waste on punks like you, so I guess I'll go easy on ya. Well, there's our villain. What's with you, squirts? You got some kind of bone to pick with me? More than one. Dems, fighting words. Huh?
Not so fast. What's that for? What's that for? Oh, that. <laughs> what you bugs beef with me anyway? Who? Who are you? You new around here? Cut the act. Whoa! <laughs> you know, something doesn't seem quite right here. Are you sure you're Pete? Well, of course I'm Pete. I'm the captain of the steamboat, so stop bothering me, see? So hit the road. I gotta go find the little runt what stole my boat. Gorge, maybe we made a mistake. I'm starting to think the same thing. He hasn't even called any heartless. Sorry we attacked you like that, Captain Pete. Oh, yeah? Well, if you're really sorry, then go find my steamboat. Yes, sir. Oh, my hickin' back! Everything's black and white. Deja vu? Really? Have you been here before? What are they building? Ah. Look out! Uh huh? Gee, he seems kind of different somehow. Heartless, I knew it. You really saved the day. Now, let's get those heartless. How do you like that? Look! You absolute idiot. You've managed to fail at everything. And what's more, you foolishly thought you could take my place while I was away. Well, as of now, you're finished. Mark my words, there'll be no place for you when our time comes. Useless imbecile. But, but, but I... Uh... Wow! <laughs> 
the town shrunk. Or do you think maybe we got bigger? Hey, look at the toy cannon. What's he saying? Hey, they're heartless! Man, that was weird. Look, Sora, over there! Oh, for crying out loud, she didn't have to go and say that. Okay, I might have messed up every now and then, but I'm a lot more things than useless. Why, when I was starting out? Oh, I missed those good old days. What I would give to go back in time. What I would give. <laughs> huh? I think that's my... Come on, he needs our help! Fascinating. This appears to be a portal to the past. Yeah, it was the strangest thing. Stop gawking. And start thinking of a way we can use it to our advantage. Okay. Now, perhaps I could give you one more chance to redeem yourself. Oh, thank you, thank you. You can count on me. So what do I do? Patience, my dear. What have we here? Well, if it isn't the cornerstone of light. Hmm. Now we can take the castle from those fools, but we'll have to proceed with the utmost of care. Listen well. On the other side of this portal, they're about to begin construction on that wretched castle. But until then, their treasured cornerstone of light lies unguarded, with all of its power still contained. The cornerstone of light? Yes. That cursed sphere.
fear is the very thing that prevents us from entering the castle. Oh. You know what must be done? Uh. Go then. Time to prove your worth. And don't dare to fail me again. Don't fail her again. Let's see. That's it. I just gotta smash that cornerstone to smithereens. <laughs> uh, but first, I gotta go get my old boat back. It was Pete after all. Wow! <laughs> Still, something doesn't seem right. Hmm. The Pete we met here had kind of an attitude, but he didn't seem like a bad guy. <laughs> now that castle's as good as ours. That's the Pete we know. Oh no! The cornerstone's gone. They're gonna fill the castle with darkness. We gotta hurry. Hey, hold it right there. No way, small fry. I finally found the pit squeak what stole my steamboat. Why, I'm a you. Right, me. No, no, it wasn't me. I'm just somebody who looks like me. Oh, which is it? Wait! Shut up. Your future's on the line, Valley. So back off and give me the boat. What progress call? After him. You both could follow me if you wanted to. Later, losers. <laughs> Later, losers. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. You'll pay for this? I'm still going to stay. Donald, we'll come back for it later. Pete's heading for the doorway. <laughs> You're still wet behind the ears. Then try us. Hey. What's that for? <laughs> it serves you right. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, I know. Would somebody tell me what's been going on here? Who was that creep anyways? Hello? That creep was you from the future. Sora, that's a secret. Secret? What kind of secret? Oh, never mind. Sorry I put you guys through all that trouble. <laughs> oh. And to show you my appreciation, I'll let you pilot my steamboat. Best little craft on the river. My deckhand Mickey's late anyways.
bet you the castle's safe and mild. Guess we should head back. Then, I'm glad if we're here. Donald! Huh? Huh? No, 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 no. George, the lads have accomplished their mission. Hooray! Let's have an acorn feast to celebrate. <laughs> Welcome back. Because of your bravery, the castle is safe and protected again. Thank you so much for all you've done. Good, Good work, work, you guys. guys. Now, boys, I, I hope you didn't do anything reckless while you were there. Daisy! <laughs> 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 I'm back! Who? Daisy is Donald's very special sweetheart. Really? What? Donald, you forgot about our date again. You'd better have a good excuse this time. Why, Daisy, I... I know it's an important mission, but you could at least check in every once in a while. Sure. <laughs> Donald? Just be a moment. Going somewhere? I trust that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! Daisy, we need Donald for just a little longer. How much longer? Um, well... I'll be back soon, Daisy. Don't you worry, Queen Minnie. We'll return. Please tell the king that we're still looking for him. I will. See you soon! Think wisely. This place is kind of different. <laughs> Something's up. Organization 13? On the hot list. Only one way to find out. Aztec treasury! Aye, and thanks to the curse put on it, we are neither among the living nor the dead. Really? Cause you look like regular pirates to me. Ah, but in the moonlight... Whoa! Now 
I get what you were saying. Hmm. Well, if you see two doofuses and a brat holding a keyblade, steer clear. They got a kind of magic that don't belong in this world, see? And nobody knows what it'll do to you. Especially when the moon's showing what you really are. A match for Barbosa, you say? Hey! See there? I knew it. <laughs> Those are the punks I was telling you about. Who are you calling punks? It's Sora, Donald, and Goofy to you, and don't you forget it! That we won't, and we'll engrave it on your tombstone, to be sure. Whoa, I like your style. Man, half of you stay here and indulge these cullies. The rest, bring me that medallion. Aye! Aw, oh, we only get to stomp on a few of you? Heh <laughs> heh. It's no use. We can't beat them. I. What do you expect? You best be saying your prayers. Hey, watch out! They could see you. Stay away from their magic. What for? Weren't you listening to me before? Hey, Pete. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Too late! Huh? Those pirates kidnapped Miss Swan and took her to their ship. Now they've sailed, and I'll never be able to find her. Then she's long gone. <sighs> the Black Pearl is nigh uncatchable. Best find yourself another girl, mate. You! What are you doing aboard the Interceptor? She's off limits to civilians. Ah, fortunate that I'm going to commandeer her then. To make a fine pirate ship. A pirate?
You can release me. You have your trinket. I'm of no further value to you. This is no trinket, Missy. This is cursed Aztec gold. One of 882 identical pieces they delivered in a stone chest to Cortez himself. I hardly believe in ghost stories anymore, Captain Barbosa. That's exactly what I thought. Buried on an island of dead, what cannot be found except for those who know where it is. Find it, we did. There be the chest. Inside be the gold. And we took them all. We spent them and traded them and fritted them away on drink and food and pleasurable company. The more we gave them away, the more we came to realize the drink would not satisfy and food turned to ash in our mouths. We are cursed men, Miss Turner. Compelled by greed we were, but now we are consumed by it. How very sad for you. <laughs> There is one way we can end our curse. All the scattered pieces of the Aztec gold must be gathered and restored to the stone chest. And the blood of every soul who touched a piece of the treasure must be repaid. Miss Turner, for ten years we've searched every league of these waters, every town and village, preying on sailors and settlers alike. 881 pieces we found, but despaired of ever finding the last. All those years, you've been safe in your bed, reading your pirate stories, dreaming of adventures in the high seas, weaving to your torments worse than death itself. But now, thanks to ye, we have the final piece at last. When this medallion is restored to the chest, we'll be free to roam the seas as men. No longer will we be ghosts. And the blood that's to be repaid? That's why there's no sense to be killing you. Yet. <gasps> you see, the moonlight shows us for what we really are. We are not among the living, and so we cannot die. But neither are we dead. I've suffered too long. You'd best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. For you see, tonight, you're in one.
every last piece that went astray, we have returned, save for this. And now, the blood will be repaid to free us from this curse forever. Quick, they're after us! We'll hold them off. Give us a sign when the ship's ready to sail. Right. We'll light the signal fire. And now, the blood will be repaid to free us from this curse forever. No, not yet. We wait for the opportune moment. When it's of greatest profit to you? May I ask you something? Have I ever given you reason not to trust me? Stay here and try not to do anything stupid. Begone by blood, by blood undone. You, mate, your father. Was your father William Turner? No. I don't understand. What's going on? Who brought this wench to yeah. us? She, she said her name was Turner. Come on. Why isn't it working? You need more blood. Get on you with idiots. it. Hurry. You there. The medallion! After them, you ingrates! Is it true? You gave Barbosa my name instead of yours. Why choose my name? I don't know. Elizabeth, where did you get that? It's yours. From that day we found you. Drifting at sea. After all this time, I thought I lost it. It was a gift from my father. He sent it to me. I'm sorry. Why did you take it? Because I was afraid that you were a pirate. That would have been awful. Of course. Don't you see? It wasn't your blood they needed. It was my father's blood. My blood. The blood... of a pirate. How the blazes did you get off that island, Jack? When you sailed away in my ship and marooned me on that godforsaken spit of land with naught but a pistol and a single shot, you forgot one very important thing, mate. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. I won't be making that mistake again. Then what say you to putting the past behind us, untying these ropes, and letting me negotiate the return of your medallion, eh? What say you to that? 
Seeing as how the Black Pearl's mine now, Jack, letting you go doesn't seem to fall within my interest. Odd. I'm not actually concerned with your interest. Give me back the pearl! Arr. All right. Lock him in the brig. We're coming up on the interceptor. What do we do, Captain? What do you think, you idiot? I wonder what Jack would do. I'm not sure. I suppose he'd run for it. Sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, wow! Uh, Will! Everyone hit the deck! Oh. We're just gonna have to fight. Pirates. Well, did you know? <gasps> Jack! <laughs> now then, I'll be having back that medallion. Unless it's more important than their lives. Barbosa! She goes free! Go ahead, boy, shoot! We can't die. You can't. But I can. My name is Will Turner. My father was bootstrap Bill Turner. His blood runs in my veins. I? On my word, do as I say, or I'll pull this trigger and be lost to Davy Jones' locker. Name your terms, Mr. Turner. Release Elizabeth, and Sora, and Donald, and Goofy too. Anything else? Leave, now! Agreed. Leave we shall. But the heartless stay. <laughs> no fair! All clear. That's the second time I've had to watch that man sail away with my ship. But I'll be having her back soon enough. Let's be joined us again. The last of the Aztec treasure has been returned. And now, the blood will be repaid to free us from this curse forever. This time for sure. Yeah! <laughs> Ahoy, treasure mateys. Not possible. Well, probably. 
We are alive and we're pirates. Captain Jack Sparrow. Sora. Daddy Jack. Goofy too. So you want to play pirate? Best save the play acting for the nursery. After them! No more play acting now. Thank you, Sora. Oh, where's Jack? Jack! Get him! Huh? <gasps> Jack! You're a fool, Jack Sparrow. Jack. Show yourself, Pete! The tide has changed! See? I told you you'd be needing old Pete! This ain't over! Right. Care to surrender, Barbosa? Well, enough of this then. What say you we call it a draw? Jack, how many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> Laugh while you can, Barbosa. I feel cold. What now, Jack? Whatever I want, now that the Pearl is mine again. That she is. Thank you, Jack. I didn't want you hitting me again, mate. Hey, Jack. Good luck. I remember to be good! I'm off. Good for them. Uh-huh. Hey, Sora. How come your face is all red? What? It is not red. Ah, uh, I know who you're thinking about.
You know, for a minute there, I was afraid we were gonna lose Donald to the curse of the treasure. Yup, me too. What? I wonder how Aladdin and Jasmine are doing. Hey, maybe Riku's with them. Yeah, I am the king. Keep dreaming, you two. Come on, Donald, you were thinking the same thing. No, I wasn't. Uh-oh, it's a, um, it's a Yago. Wait, you got me all wrong! You're young, you old runt. No, I mean it's not the old me. I turned over a new feather. I'm legit. No more scams. Promise. That that's your new scam. You gotta believe me. Sarah, let's go. I was stuck inside that lamp with your far, remember? But I finally escaped. Then some things happened. And... So, free as a bird, huh? Have fun. Gorse fillers, he looks pretty sad. To a live man, Jasmine. Could you guys maybe put in a good word for me? Sure. We can do that, can't we? Watch out! Uh, where are they all coming from? Jasmine. <sighs> Sora, Donald, Goofy. Your Majesty. <laughs> I never had the chance to thank you for before. You helped Aladdin defeat that awful Jafar and save Agrabah. All in a day's work. But, uh, it looks like the Heartless are up to no good again. Is there any way we can help you out? I think we're all right for now. And you always got Aladdin. Oh, he hasn't been himself lately. Huh? Is it of the heartless? I'm not sure. Usually, he's the same cheerful Aladdin. But sometimes, he just seems sad. Mm. He leaves the palace and goes off by himself all the time. I've asked him about it, but he says nothing's wrong. He's gone again today. What if he doesn't come back this time? Hey, maybe he's got a <gasps> secret girlfriend. I know. I'll go find out who she is. <gasps> Iago, quick, Sora. Oh, catch him. And I'll warn the guards and everyone in the palace. That's the thing. Iago's not... <sighs> nice move. Maybe it's something you said. Gee, maybe we should go talk to Aladdin. He's gotta be somewhere in town, right? Good idea. I wonder what he's been doing. Stop this! <whistles> Hi, 
Hi, Sora. Come back here! If you can't control that furball, put a leash on him. Look, I'm sorry. You should be ashamed of yourself, Babu. Uh, no hard feelings? Abu? <laughs> hey guys, uh, sorry about earlier. I was kinda in a hurry. What happened? You know Abu, he couldn't keep his paws off that lamp. <laughs> no talking your way out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> This is it! That one should do it.
Got golf today, not golf. Sure looks valuable. Great. Now let's go get that lamp. <laughs> we gotta keep Jafar bottled up, or he's gonna destroy Agrabah. and hand it over. Oh, no. I'm trading it for treasure. This lamp is going to bring me riches. Oh, no, oh, you don't know. Oh, Get back oh, here, you oh, little... Oh, oh. Thank you. It's mine. Lampog? Go away! Gotcha! No fair! <laughs> I win! Huh? Oh. Nice one, Iago! Way to go! Don't drop that cloak! Behind you! <laughs> nice try, bird brain. Just wait till Jafar's free. He's gonna make one beauty of a heartless. Princely little muffin, you! Cosmic travel can get so lonely without a friend! The thing I left you forlorn and genie-less! Oh, the humanity! <laughs> genie? Hey, Al, have you been putting out weight? Oh, of course! What am I saying? You're living at the palace now! Aladdin! Jasmine! I can just picture it! Wait, tell me, am I being a pest? Just a big blue pest? Oh, who cares, Al? I'm just so glad to see you! Genie. Oops. I'll teach you to make a fool out of me! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Time for plan B. I'm finishing you mugs off right now!
mess with me for the last time, I'm gonna get you yet! Yeah! <laughs> All right! He must have secretly stolen it from the Cave of Wonders. I guess some things are just hard to resist. Sora, what is it? I think it's time for us to go. Will you be back? We will, I promise. That's exactly. If you have a dream, don't wait. Act. One of life's little rules. You got it memorized? Who are you? Axel. I happen to be an acquaintance of Sora's. Why don't we go see him? Sora?
We've got something in common, Kyrie. You and I both miss someone we care about. Hey, I feel like we're friends already. <sighs> You're not acting very friendly. Hey, what is this place? You okay? <laughs> uh. What? You and that dog came flying out of a hole in the wall. He nearly gave us heart attacks. Hey, this is Halloween Town, right? Well, it sure does look like Halloween. Wow! Yeah! Hey, it's Zero. How have you been, boy? What's that for? It's Jack! Sora, Donald, and Goofy! Welcome back! And Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas? Don't you mean Happy Halloween? Of course! Halloween greetings from Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King! Forgive me, I'm in a Christmas mood. You see, I'm running the show again this year, but I need Sandy Claus' blessing, so I'm off to Christmas Town. Sandy Claus? I think he means Santa Claus. Aren't these decorations wonderful? This year, Halloween Town's going to handle Christmas, too. But first, we have to visit Sally. She's working on something no self-respecting Santa Claus can do without. Come along, I'll show you. A Halloween Town Christmas? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Wanna go check it out? <laughs> Come on, hurry!
Hello, Doctor. Where's Sally? Can't you see that I'm in the middle of an experiment? Sorry, now bring it over here. He I want to show my good friends. I'm sorry, Jack. I... I need a little bit more time. Oh. Well, that's all right. Just as long as it's ready for Christmas. But, Jack... I'd best be off. I've got to go get Sandy Claus right away. Wonderful to see you again. Goodbye for now. Go get Santa Claus. Please, Sora. I'm afraid something terrible will happen if Jack goes through with this. You can try that again. Sora? Are those strange-looking fellows in the town square with you? Huh? What fellows? You know, the ones who wanted to spoil Halloween and Christmas? What are they called again? Heartless? They're definitely not with us. But Donald, Goofy, and I can get rid of them for you. And then we can go see Santa. But first, the Heartless. Now hear this, you, you fiends. Leave Halloween Town at once by order of the mayor. Jack, where are you? I'm only an elected official. I can't handle this by myself. Jack! We're on it. What should we bring along next time? A bucket full of caterpillars! Or something even worse! Who's that? Some old hag. Silence. A witch? Hmm. Perhaps you three could be of use to me. Come along, all of you. I'll show you the true meaning of mischief. All right, bodyguards. Christmas Town is this way. The doorway is in the woods just past the graveyard. Here it is, the door to Christmas Town. The spooks of Halloween can get so tiresome year after year. I wanted something new, and I found this. Beyond this door is a world filled with wonders, the likes of which you've never seen. At first, I couldn't believe my eyes. Everything was so fresh and exciting. Come on, just open it.
Cool. In his workshop. Shall we? Anything bad happened to Christmas? That's where Santa Claus lives. <laughs> well, hello everyone. Did you come to see if you're on my nice list? Your name? Um, Sora, sir. Let's see. Sora. Here you are. Well, according to my list, Sora, seven years ago, you told everyone you did not believe in Santa Claus. Oh, that is unfortunate. Uh, how about Donald and Doodle? Am I on your list too, by any chance? It's me, Jack. Jack Skellington? What sort of trouble did you bring this time? This time? It's a long story. We have to hide. Silence. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. That fool Jack brought Sora and the others with him. Now we can deal with all of them at once. What do you want us to do? Who's there? Busted! Oh! It's Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Not those three. I assure you they're not with us. Well, whatever the case, they've been quite naughty. Catch them and bring them back here. They're going to get a lecture. Uh, Mr. Claus, I wanted to talk to you about Christmas first. It'll have to wait. I need to see how things are progressing in my workshop. Come on, Jack. Let's catch those little pranksters. Oh... All right, then. I was so looking forward to destroying that ridiculous Christmas town. But now that Sora and those imbeciles are here, I think a change of plan is called for. Revenge before pleasure, after all. The magnificent, malevolent kind, of course. That sounds really bad! Like, Oogie's kinda bad! And that's super duper bad! Oogie Boogie. That bag of incensed insects. Hmm. How intriguing. And where might I find him? Jack and his dumb, stupid friends destroyed him! Ah, yes. Now I remember. More intriguing still. I believe I'll bring your master back for you. 
<laughs> I feel like a million bugs. <laughs> I really owe you one for this, Maleficent. Indeed you do, Ugi. Do you remember Sora, Donald, and Goofy? Do I remember them? Ha! Ah, you're too much! I'll never forget what they did to me. Uh, what was it they did to me? Squashed you like a bug! That sounds bad. And Jack helped. Even worse. They creamed you. That's right. That's right. That's one thing I won't be forgetting anytime soon. It's the last thing I remember. And it's the only thing I'll remember until I teach those clowns not to mess with Mr. Oogie Boogie. Yes, that's right. That's the spirit. And I have the perfect plan already in mind. Have you ever heard of Christmas Town? Mr. Oogie! Wake up! Wake up! We want to see how bad you are! <sighs> it seems he needs more time to recover. You three, stay here and keep Sora and the others occupied. My heartless will help. But do not fail me. There they are. Stop them! Tie them down! Get them! Back off! Yeah! <laughs> this is it! Found it, and now I've lost my way. Oh, this is utter foolishness. I should be getting ready for Christmas. Is that you, Mr. <gasps> Santa Claus? Yes, but please call me Santa Claus. Of course, Mr. Santa Claus. I was hoping I'd find you here. You see, it's very important that you go back to Christmas Town. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen if you don't. Well, I am behind on my preparations. All right, tell Jack I'll be waiting for him at home. He had something to say to me about Christmas. But that's just it. Please, go home and lock the door. And if Jack knocks, don't open it. There. The large one in red. All I gotta do is kidnap him? That's right. Lock him up at once. Then begin destroying Christmas Town. That's sure to make Sora and the other fools come running. And then they're all mine! Yes. And in the meantime, I'll turn Santa Claus into Santa Heartless. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done? Who's there? A little redecorating. 
Wait, something's not quite right. I know what it is. We just need a little more of that boogie flair. I do hope our jolly old friend is looking forward to becoming a heartless. <laughs> Clumsy oaf! Are you still here? Why don't you boogie on back where you came from? You're crabbing my style! Have you already forgotten who brought you back, you insolent bag of bugs? Hmm. Sorry. Can't remember a thing. Very well, you ingrate. You'll rue the day you spurned my help! <laughs> Don't shoot yourselves! <laughs> you and I have a score to settle, Jack. Same goes for your little sidekicks. What are you planning to do with Sandy Claus? Who? Sandy Claus? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and why is this roly-poly red guy here? Time to go, Grandpa! Uh. <gasps> <laughs> Mr. Santa Claus! <laughs> Why, you... All right, Christmas is safe again. Perfect. I'd better get down to business. Huh? Me Santa Santa. Yup, you ought to stick to Halloween and spooky stuff. Jack. Wonderful! Why, I love it! Thank you, Sally. Jack, do you really have to do this? But I make a splendid Sandy Claus. Uh, listen here, Jack Skellington. You saved me in Christmas as well, and for that I'm very grateful. But please promise you won't cause any more trouble. And about that suit. 
Don't even think about taking over from me again. I just thought you could use a little help this year, Mr. Claus. You must be exhausted from all the preparations. And I wouldn't mind a second chance to get this Christmas thing right. <sighs> yes, being Santa Claus can be tiring. But let me tell you something, Jack. Seeing the happy faces of little children when they discover the presents I've brought them makes it all worthwhile, year after year after year. And you, Jack, you love to make them gasp and see them shiver with fright. What if someone tried to take all of that away from you? We both have very important jobs to do, Jack. Mine is to take care of Christmas, and yours is to take care of Halloween. So we each have to do the very best we can. After all, you're the face of Halloween, Mr. Jack Skellington. The Pumpkin King, the Might of Nightmares. And even though you're fascinated with Christmas, Jack, Halloween is your true specialty. Don't you see? Children rely on both of us to do our jobs. Halloween needs your attention, and I know Christmas needs mine. Urgently. You're right. I am the master of terror. And if Halloween has become too routine, all I have to do is think of something new that'll really make them scream. Jack! Oh, Jack! I've been looking for you everywhere. We must go over the plans for next Halloween. I can't do a thing without your approval. So true. Good luck, Jack Skellington. Well, there he goes. Yes, and I've got lots of names to check and preparations to finish. Ooh. Oh! Jack, this is no time for joking. What's this? Perhaps a bit too festive for our Halloween needs. We better get going. Before you do, Sora, I believe there's a friend of yours who, if I recall correctly, was the one who told you there's no such thing as Santa Claus? Oh yeah. He did say that. Be sure to give him my very best wishes. I will, but... Do you know where I can find Riku? No, but don't give up. Remember, if you believe in Riku, you will find him, just as you found me. Right.
Und manche Beine, manche Beine. Hey, check us out. <laughs> this place is kind of creepy, though. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> Heartless? Oh, I don't know, Sora. Oh, I get the feeling they might live here. Don't mind us. Just passing through a river being in trouble. Yeah, that's right. Don't be silly. We'd love you to stick around for lunch. Um, we didn't bring anything to eat. <laughs> that's not gonna be a problem. Um, gosh, Sora. I think we're the lunch. <laughs> Going somewhere? Man, that scar's got the worst timing. Just let him roar. Eh, nah, we better go see what he wants. Sounds like he's grumpy enough already. Ugh, <sighs> fine. I don't know what that was about, but I'm glad it's over. <laughs> Everything's harder on four legs. Let us start practicing. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Huh? What? What do we do? Stay back. Definitely heartless. Thank you. You really saved me. We're just glad you're okay. Did you see any other heartless around here? Heartless? Is that what they're called? I'm not sure if there are any others. I don't usually hunt outside the Pride Lands. Pride Lands? Hey, do you know if a guy named Riku is there? Or some bad guys in black hoods? Or maybe this really big bully named Pete. <sighs> oh well, we might as well go take a look anyway. Wait, the Pride Lands are dangerous. Scar and the hyenas have made things unbearable for everyone. There's no food left. They've driven off the prey. We're about to starve. We can handle a little danger. You just saw us beat those heartless, didn't you? I guess you're right. You could be just what the kingdom needs. Maybe you can help us. You mean take on this Scar guy and all those hyenas? Scar? He took over when our last king, Mufasa, died. So you're saying this guy's your king? You want us to take down your king? Wait just a minute. We can't just go around knocking kings off their thrones. Then again, if they see that I'm stronger than their king, maybe they'll ask me to be their next king. Sora. <laughs> I'd have to refuse, of course. Still, I'd like to see the Pride Lands, so you guys don't mind lending them a paw, do you? Uh oh, there it goes again. She's gonna go on ahead and tell the other lionesses. We're supposed to meet her at a place called Pride Rock.
That's him. Uh, what? What is it? I told Rafiki you might be able to help us force Scar and the Hyenas out of the Pride Lands. But he says it won't work. You see, whoever saves the Pride Lands will be our next king, and he has to have the right qualities. Meaning? Well, I think she means you're not cut out for the job, Sora. <sighs> I'm sorry you came all this way. Hey, no, it's okay. You better go before Scar finds out you're here. I'm really sorry. Hey, a snack! Snack? Nah. Mm -mm. <laughs> we got us a three-cross <laughs> meal. <laughs> Look at that! Here comes Scar, the king! <laughs> ah, and Pete! If I were you, I'd be more worried about my friends. Sorry! We're surrounded! Go on, ladies. You've got some hunting to do. The herds have moved on, Scar. We can't hunt in a land with no prey. No prey? Then what do you call this? We're not prey. Oh, nice and fresh, too. Well, they're all yours, Scar. Why the long face, Simba? You gotta lighten up and live a little. Yeah, yeah. What were you thinking about? Let me guess. The past, right? Mm. Hakuna, Hakuna Matata! Matata. Would you look how he's grown, Pumba? Why, when I rescued the little guy, he was only this big. Wow. 
What's wrong? We're never gonna make it. I guess Rafiki was right. What? Never mind, it's not important. Here, I'll show you how. You can do it. It's me, Sora. Donald and Goofy are here too. Sora, Donald, Goofy. Uh -oh. <laughs> what happened to you? Timon! Pumba! Something must have happened in the jungle. I have to go help my friends. Okay, we'll back you up. <laughs> Simba! Wait! It's Nala! Don't you recognize her? Nala? It's me, Simba! Simba! You are alive! Hey, what's going on here? Don't worry. They're all friends of mine. So that means nobody's planning to eat anybody else for lunch, right? Are you sure they don't want to eat me like I'm some kind of pig? We won't, but you are a pig, right? Call me Mr. Pig! <laughs> Could you guys excuse us for a few minutes? Why am I not surprised? Simba, you've got to come back to Pride Rock. I thought Sora might be able to help, but you're the only one who can save us from Scar. I can't go back. Why? Hakuna Matata. It's something I learned out here. Sometimes bad things happen, and there's nothing you can do about it. Simba? Hakuna? Matata! Hakuna? Matata! He's not the Simba I remember. Something about Hakuna Matata. My father's dead, and it's because of me. It's my fault. I can't go back. It won't change anything. Look at the stars. The great kings of the past look down on us from those stars. So whenever you feel alone, just remember that those kings will always be there to guide you, and so will I. Father, are you there?
Simba, you have forgotten who you are. You must take your place in the circle of life. How can I go back? I'm not who I used to be. Remember who you are. You can all come out now. I'm going back to face my past. I could use your help. He really is a king. Wait a minute, we're gonna fight your uncle for this? Yes, Timon. This is my home. Simba, you're alive. This kingdom doesn't belong to you. Simba's the rightful king. The choice is yours, Scar. Either step down or fight. Must this all end in violence? I'd hate to be responsible for the death of a family member, Simba. I've put the past behind me. But what about your faithful subjects, have they? Simba, what's he talking about? Go on, tell them who's responsible for Mufasa's death. I am. <gasps> he admits it, murderer. If it weren't for you, Mufasa would still be alive. Do you deny it? No, but it was an accident. You're in trouble again, but this time, Daddy isn't here to save you. And now, everyone knows why. <laughs> Now, this looks familiar. I think I've seen this before. Oh, yes. I remember. This is just the way your father looked before he died. And here's my little secret. I killed Mufasa. Murderer! Tell them the truth! All right, all right. I did it. Louder! I killed Mufasa! <laughs> Simba, you get Scar. We'll handle these guys. Coming through! <sighs> this is his fight, Donald. Okay. Oh, that was just a sneak preview. Cause this ain't over. Oh, not by a long shot. Anger and jealousy turned the King of Pride Rock into a heartless. Oh, your kingdom's gonna rise again. But this time, as the Pride Lands of Darkness. 
That's what you think! I'm here! It's over! What's with the light show? We have to say goodbye for a little while. I'll go tell Simba! Oh, he's probably busy. Just tell him we'll be back soon. Oh, that's right. He's king now. He's gonna be so busy, he'll probably forget about his two best buddies. Well, you always got Hakuna Matata, right? Guess so! What do you mean, guess so? And what if he forgets to tell the carnivores who we are? <laughs> One look at you, and you're a pig roast! That's Mr. Pig Roast. Same thing! And I'm not sticking around to be anybody's pork dinner! Boomba! You can never forget your true buddies. Sounds like we've got trouble. We'll take it from here. Impressive. By the way, have you seen a man named Axel? I expect he's here somewhere. Like I care. You see, Axel's no longer acting in our best interest. Is he with the organization too? Yes. You have a front? Not a very organized organization. Don't let your guard down. Axel will stop at nothing to turn you into a heartless. Gee, thanks for looking out for us, mister. But I'm sure we can take care of ourselves just fine. Glad to hear it. Axel aside, it would break our hearts to hear something happen to you. Hearts? You don't have any hearts. True, we don't have hearts. But we remember what it was like. That's what makes us special. What do you mean? We know very well how to injure a heart. Sora, you just keep on fighting those heartless. Let's jump in after him. How come? I'm not sure, but maybe he'll lead us to the organization's world. Don't be reckless. Do you want to end up like Riku? What? Hey! 
Wait! What did he mean, end up like Riku? Hey! How about you get out of my town now? You've caused enough trouble. Riku. How about your way? Come on, guys! Hold it! Make up your mind! This goes to the strongest guy in Twilight Town. Thanks, but we don't really need it. Whoa! Oh, Sora! Um, Pence, right? Do you know a girl named Kyrie? Kyrie? I sure do. Uh, then you better come to the station. Hey! Hey, so how do you guys know Kyrie? Kyrie was really here? Yeah. And she said she was looking for you. Tell me where she is! Well... What a romantic story. If you stick around, Sora's bound to show up. Yeah, he said he's coming back. Okay. What took you so long, Kyrie? Somehow, I just knew you'd be here. I tell you, Kyrie, you've got a lot of guts jumping right into the darkness like that. You think it might have been Axel? Sorry. Hey, it's not your fault. Come on, cheer up. Like I can even say that. I gotta Get help whoa. Kyrie. That was close. Are you okay? Huh? What? What what just happened? A new road is open, and Kyrie and Riku are waiting somewhere along it. You'd better hurry then. You coming back? Promise. I passed on the message as you so desired. I told the young Sora to keep defeating the Heartless. Good. 
Not only have you the power to inflict pain, you also have the power to plant seeds of doubt in one's receptive heart. Sora will soon begin to doubt himself. It will cause him to hesitate, and that hesitation will turn to anger. That anger will fuel him to get rid of his apprehension and move forward. He will pave the way for the future we desire. There's something I've meant to ask. About Axel, the poor fool. How long will he keep chasing the illusion of friendship when he himself lacks emotion, trying so hard to retrieve what he has lost when it may never have existed in the first place? He deserves nothing more than our pity. King, Riku, and now I've lost Kyrie again, too. Don't be sad. Donald's right, you know. Why, you're the key that connects everything. So it's all my fault. Gorge, I didn't mean that. Just do what comes natural to you, and we're sure to find them. You shall. Mm. Thanks, guys. You're right, Chipper. Uh, I wonder what's going on. Sora, we'd better hurry and check it out right away. No! Do you think? Looks like there's more Heartless now. Let's go check in with everyone. I think they're at Merlin's. Oh, Cloud! What you doing? I'll get him. This time, we settle it. Me and the one who embodies all the darkness in me. Huh, I said you get kinda different, Cloud. If I do, it's his fault. Whose? Sephiroth. Tell me if you see him. Okay, what's he look like? Silver hair. Carries a long sword. Sure. Well, be seeing you, Cloud. Be careful. He messes with your head. Makes you think darkness is the only way. Is something wrong? Uh, uh... It's nothing. Hmm? I don't want you involved. You mean, you don't want me there when you go away again? I just... Listen. Even if I go far away, I'll come back. Do you mean it? Yeah. See? You don't look so sure. Well, okay. I understand. Go. Get things settled. Huh? No matter how far away you are, once you find your light, I'm sure it will lead you back here again. Right? I suppose. So I'll stay here, and I'll cheer for you. Okay, Cloud? Okay. Wonder if he'll be okay. He'll be fine. I'm sure there's some light in him somewhere. You're right.
Excuse me, are you with the Restoration Committee? What's Leon's gang up to? They've got stuff to do over by the castle postern. Scoop! Huh? Let's report. To who? Our leader, of course. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Don't mind her. I assure you. We come in peace. You're kidding. Problem? Okay, fine. You do the talking. So sorry about this! Handsome. Gorge. I guess this must be his room. Master King. Hello? Hey, you. I'm looking for somebody. Have any of you seen a guy with spiky hair? Spikier. I'll just take a look around. <sighs> Sorry to bother you. No, no bother, bother him. him. So you made it. Leon! This is it. Where's Kyrie? Where's Riku? Easy. You want to break it? Oh, sorry. Guess I got a little carried away. Whoa! Huh? Whoa! Get off of Ha ha ha! Attention current user, this is a warning. Further misuse of this terminal will result in immediate defensive action. Who's there? I am the master control program. I oversee this system. Where are you? Donald! I'm sorry! Decision gate breached. You are now under arrest. Arrest? Run!
Go on, show who's boss. Who are you? I am Commander Sark. A heartless commander? Hmm. Observe. Okay, you're the boss. I get it. Man, what kind of world is this anyway? You're inside a mainframe computer system. A what system? A computer system for processing data. This system is a copy of one created by a corporation called ENCOM. The original program was destroyed. But this copy was acquired by another user. The new user updated and customized the programs, renaming the system Hollow Bastion OS. He used the system for town maintenance and to advance his private research. My name is Tron. I'm a security program, but now I'm under arrest, same as you. Did you guys get any of that? Gorge! You know, maybe we should just introduce ourselves. I'm Sora. And I'm Dragon. Nice to meet you, Tron. Well, I'm Goofy. With that configuration, you must be users. Users? You'd better get out of here quickly. Who knows what the MCP will do to you? MCP? The Master Control Program. It controls the whole system. If you idle here, you will be derezzed. Derezzed? So, how do we get out of here? This terminal could have gotten you back to the user world. But the MCP cut the power 50 microcycles ago. Uh. <sighs> if we could bring the energy core in the canyon online, we could power it back up. The problem is, we're stuck in this cell. We're not going anywhere unless we unlock the energy fields. Master Control, why not just derez Tron? I still haven't located the password to the data space. What about a logic probe? With all your processing power? Out of the question. The current environment hampers the processing power needed for such an analysis. You're dismissed, Sark. Stop any remaining anomalies in the system or else. End of line. Acknowledged. This is the energy core.
So, what did you want us to do? Find my user. He'll give you the password to access the DTD. You're back! So, um... DTD is the name my user gave to the data space. Copies of all the original system programs are stored there, along with anything that's sensitive or restricted. Is there stuff about the Heartless or Organization 13? Hmm, most likely. A number of my functions were appropriated when I last took on the MCP. That's why I need the password. If I can get inside the DTD, I can access my original backup program and restore all my functions. Then I'll be able to put this system back the way it was before the MCP got control and changed everything. The way it was supposed to be. A free system for you, the users. Hmm. Gee, Tron, ain't the MCP one of those programs too? Do you know who it was who made it? Actually. I don't know. Okay, we'll just have to find your user and ask him. What's his name? You mean you don't know? <laughs> My user is the user of this system. Ansem the Wise. Ansem? Looks like the MCP's onto us. I'll keep this terminal up and running. You better exit the system now. Sure, but Tron, Ansem is... What looks like a password? Okay, you're good to go. Hurry! Excuse me? Ah. <sighs> What's this doodle? Looks like a diagram or something. Oh, D T D D T D. What's up? Look at this. This must be the data space. The D T D. See, the door to darkness. What do you know? But that still leaves the password. Say, fellas, did somebody mention the door to darkness? Your Majesty! Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Long time no see. Shh. The organization might be listening. You mentioned the door to darkness? Oh, uh, yes, sir. You see, we're looking for the secret password. Password? Oh, I guess you mean like a code. Well, the door to darkness can only be opened by the seven princesses. There's Snow White, Jasmine, and Belle. Of course. What are you trying to do? With that password, we can get access to Ansem's research data. So that means you might be able to find out where he is. Uh, stop joking around, Your Majesty. We already defeated Ansem. You know that. Looks like I've got a lot of explaining to do. You're listening, Your Majesty. Okay, but first I've got a question. Hey, isn't Tron waiting for you guys? Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. If those Heartless attack, I'll stand and fight with everybody here. Yeah, we will too. Then let's talk more later. That's a promise. I'll see you when you get back. I didn't touch nothing. Welcome to the Game Grid. Game Grid? That's right. You've been chosen to play a few games. Lose and you will be subject to immediate de-resolution. Win? Well... <laughs> no one wins. We're not gonna play your games. You have no choice. Well then, get on with it. like we can escape through there. <sighs> I don't understand. Why are you here? We came to give you the password. Why didn't you just transmit the data? Transmit? Hey, are you okay? I'll be all right, once we access the DTD.
I'm as good as new. All my functions have been restored. Oh, boy. Finally, I have full access to the DTD. My takeover of the system is now complete. I might have anticipated such a simple password. What's this? An emergency destruct program for the town. Let's see how it performs. No! <laughs> Program, you changed the password. There, that should buy us some time. Tron, tell us what's going on. The MCP's loading a hostile program into the I.O. tower. What do we do? We've got to protect the user town. Let's head to the tower. I'm disappointed in you, Program. Why do you insist on allying with these selfish users? Because... I want to help them. Something written into my code commands me to do what is right. Really? And what command would that be? I can't really say for sure. Friends... they help each other, that's all. Uh-oh, look out! Running executable. Access approved. Back off. I really owe you one. With all my functions up and running, I think I've got a chance of getting system control away from the MCP. Now, I'd better get to work. It's what my user would want. What Ansem would want. Listen, Tron. We didn't get the password from Ansem. We just sort of found it, back in the user world. By accident. And one more thing, Ansem, he was our enemy. I mean, he still is, I guess. Well, actually, he's my enemy, too. What do you mean? Ansem took Encom's original system and customized it for his own use. I was part of the original system, and Ansem modified me, too. So, that makes him my user. But Ansem is also the one who brought back the MCP. The Ansem I first knew wouldn't do that. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. That's okay, but now I really don't get it. I don't understand it either. But I think users like you are going to be the ones who will finally figure it out. You have the ability to take illogical routes and still arrive at the answers you seek. Any data you need from the DTD can be accessed directly through my user's terminal. I'll keep a dedicated access channel open for you. I changed the password, so you won't have to worry about the MCP for a while. Access channel? <laughs> I knew you'd ask. It's a very important link between our worlds. It's how we stay connected. You. My friends are the new password. Thanks, Tron. Take care. You too. And give my best to the users.
Well, that's that. Look. Tron, hang in there. So, where do we start? I know. Let's access the DTD. The King's checking the situation in town. He'll be back soon, so don't worry. Hey, look. It's asking for a password. That's easy, it's... Sora! Donald! Goofy! That's... to the point. Well? That did it. We're in. I have to go into town. Need to see what that last shake-up did. You're not gonna check out the data? It wasn't exactly easy to get. I'm coming right back. Hey, Sora. Why don't you get started unloading the data and copying it down? It's just a few keystrokes. Easy, right? Can you rock? Hey, these things take time, okay? Whoa, it's doing something. Huh? I think it wants to know what we want to know. Riku and Kairi. No way. Even Ansem's computer doesn't know. What's he doing? I thought I'd ask the computer if it can tell us about them nobodies. What's this? The data is corrupt. What? How about the organization? There! The data is corrupt. Stupid computer! Sora! Huh? Who's this guy? Well, I see you got things working. Oh, oh your, your majesty! majesty. Going. The computer should tell us the things we need to know. But it keeps on saying the data inside's all kerscuffled. All we got is a picture of some guy we don't know. Ansem the Wise! Come on, are you teasing us again? Then you forget what Ansem looked like, your majesty! Of course I do, and this is him. I'm positive. Excuse me, could you come this way, please? Look, this is Ansem. You know, the guy we all worked really hard to defeat? Oh, that's right. I never finished explaining. What? Well, the man in the picture is definitely the one who tried to take over Kingdom Hearts. The one you fellas defeated. But what you actually fought was his heartless. You see, he wasn't really handsome. He just went around telling everybody that he was. You mean... Um. What? <laughs> we went through all that trouble to defeat an imposter? Yup, a fake. But he still had to be stopped. Ah, uh, I can't believe it. Oh, I'm kind of confused. If he's a fake, then what happened to the real Ansem? Well, that's just what I'm trying to figure out. Ansem the Wise should know all about Organization 13's plans and what's been happening to the worlds. I'm pretty sure he'll give us some help. You know, I came close to finding him once. Hmm. Don't tell me there's more. I'm lost enough as it is. Well, let's see. Some feller named Ansem, who wasn't really Ansem, became a Heartless. Does that mean a nobody got created when that happened too? Yup. 
and that nobody is the leader of the organization. What? what? I know I've met this fake Ansem before, and I've seen the leader of Organization 13, too. Hmm, kind of felt like being around the same fella. So, where did you meet this guy? Gosh, I can't remember. Ansem the Wise, the real Ansem, must know the imposter's true identity. That's why I've got to find him and ask him about it. You. You started all of this. Because of you, Riku and Kairi. Oh, Your Majesty, do you know where Riku is? He's... <sighs> I'm sorry, I can't help. Really, Your Majesty? Are you sure? I'm sorry, Sora. What about Kairi? Organization 13 might have kidnapped her. Oh, no! Sora, Donald, Goofy. I was planning to go get help from Ansem the Wise, but now I know I forgot the most important thing. Helping others should always come before asking others for help. We're safe and sound, and free to choose. So there's no reason we shouldn't choose to help our friends. Let's look for Riku and Kairi together. Outside! <laughs> Sounds like we gotta start by helping out here. Hear me, my heartless. Attack the white husks. Sweep them away. What are you, nuts? We're never gonna win. I don't know about you, but I'm out of here, sister. You pathetic coward. Leave the White Ones. Turn your attention to Sora and his friends. Uh oh Where's Maleficent? Looks like she ran away. Well, that was pretty lame of her. I guess we picked the wrong side. Um, hey, if you're looking to pick sides, why don't you pick Leon's? They can always use help. Does this Leon have any treasure? Yeah! Lots of stuff! Perfect! Come on. Who are you? Oh, we're nothing worth mentioning. Just three treasure fanatics. Later, taters! Did Leon really have any treasure? Time for you. Whoa. Shower and slip for us. Ain't Sephiroth the one who's supposed to be the dark part of Cloud's heart? Huh. 
Did Cloud tell you that? Then he must understand now. Just what are you gonna do to him? Nothing. Cloud is the one who hungers for darkness. He said he's got a score to settle with you. I see. He wants to meet me again. Then I should give him what he wants. That last bit of light is always the hardest to snuff out. King's in the Bailey. You better head over there. Got it. you can handle this many? Well, might be tough if one more shows up. Hmm. Then that'll have to be the one I take care of. What? You're fighting too? I understand that you've been looking for me. Yeah. Once I get rid of you, the darkness will go away. Can you do it? That darkness comes from your own dark memories. Do you think you can erase your past? Shut up! Face it. You turn your back on the present and live in the past. Because the light of the present is too much. You don't know me! Cloud! I know. Because... I am you. Leon, everybody, hang in there. Okay, fellas, you've got to go find Riku and Kairi. But Leon and the others are friends, too. Don't worry. There's already lots of help here. We'll take care of this fight. But I promised Leon. Donald, Goofy, take Sora and get going.
Riku, Kairi, give me a little time, okay? We understand. We'll go search for Riku and Kairi. Right. Watch for danger. You'll be careful, too. Wait, you guys. Straw, do as you told. You're coming with us whether you want to or not. Come on, Straw. You're gonna be good. Gotcha. Well then, skedaddle! Let's go! Whoa! I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Oh. Hope you can forgive us. Master Ansem, regarding the experiment I presented the other day, with your permission, I'd like to proceed. I forbid it! Forget this talk of doors and the heart of all worlds. That place must not be defiled. But Master Ansem, I've been thinking... They are not. Those thoughts are best forgotten.
Zaxian! Zaxian! Right here. What is it? Where is Lord Zemnis? His usual spot. The Chamber of Repose? Yes. Go and see for yourself. That isn't funny! I suppose I have no choice but to wait. But the clock is ticking. Time is running out. What to do? Why is he never around when I need him? It's almost as if he knows I'm looking for him. You know, I don't like that place either. What about you, Zexion? What do you think? I think eavesdropping is intrusive. Why are you even here? You and Zaldin were tasked to recruit new members. Have you forgotten, or were you procrastinating? As if. I'm doing my job. I'll have you know, I found one just yesterday. Mar something. That puts the organization's count at 11. And since I've been working so hard, I had Lexius take my place for the day. I want to rest up for tomorrow, so I can wake up feeling nice and refreshed. Is that so? Well then, I will leave you to it. I have work to catch up on. Good day. Oh, don't be like that. Come on, stay and talk. Isn't it time you told me about Xemnas' secret? How long ago was it? When a bunch of warriors wielding key-shaped swords appeared and unleashed a spectacular battle. And when it was all over, all that was left was a man lying unconscious without his memories. Xemnas. Yeah. I mean, Xehanort was found by Ansem right around then, wasn't he? Your point? The Chamber of Repose. If you recall, that's where we spent our time researching the darkness that resides within people's hearts. It's a graveyard that was sealed by order of Ansem the Wise. The first thing Xemnas did once he got rid of him was to undo the seal and build a room in the back. Ever since then, he holds himself up in that room when he can, and he talks to someone. But who? For all I know, he's the only one in that room. Need I repeat myself about eavesdropping? Not eavesdropping. Couldn't hear what they were saying. Dying to find out what it was, though. You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? I know I would very much like to focus on my own duties. As you should with yours, for we need to prepare the new facility immediately. But there are only eleven of us in the organization. We're going to need a few more hands on deck. What new facility? Oh, you mean Castle Oblivion. What does Xemnas plan on doing with that place, anyway? He already shared his intentions with us. But did you know there's something he didn't share? The Chamber of Repose is part of a pair. The Chamber of Waking is the other. Another graveyard, if you want to call it that. It was constructed by someone other than Xemnas himself. And that's where he'll find it. That's where he'll find his other friend. Hey, you guys are looking lively. Scrab! Didn't we catch you messing around in the underworld? How'd a wimp like you get into Organization 13? <laughs> I bet you can't even fight. Yeah, but we can. You shouldn't judge anyone by appearance. Oh, I told them they were sending the wrong guy. 
Who is this kook? Remember, the organization's made up of nobodies. Right. No hearts. Oh, we do too have hearts. Don't be mad. You can't trick us! Silence, traitor. Anyone from the organization who'd like to be next? Hey, Sora. Go not dragonize them. Yeah, we gotta go help our friends out first. Oh, sorry. Then let's go! Aha! There you are! You sure have lots of friends to help. So, I guess we better all pull together and finish this battle for good. Yes, yes Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. Look out! Goofy! No! Hey! You're the king's captain! You gotta get up! Come on, wake up! I'm sorry about the ice cream! Goofy? Oh, oh, Goofy! This is not happening. It can't be happening. It can't. They'll pay for this. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but... Oh, I'm guilty. Hey, fellas! Goofy! Goofy! You know, that really hurt. Aw, oh, Goofy. Of course, Your Majesty. I get bumped on the head all the time. <laughs> with them. Hey! It's the guy who's got on some. You mean it's his nobody? The leader of Organization 13. 
Wait a minute. Now I know. Wise Ansem, I am here to seek your advice. I'm glad we have the opportunity to speak like this, my friend. I'm intrigued by your hypothesis, and I'm finding it difficult to stave off the urge to test it. Still, I'm concerned about the stability of the worlds. Yup. That's what worries me, too. The doors that appeared. The place the heartless seek. I fear my research may have brought this upon us. Master Ansem, regarding the experiment I presented the other day, with your permission, I'd like to proceed. I forbid it! Forget this talk of doors and the heart of all worlds. That place must not be defiled. But Master Ansem, I've been thinking, they are not. Those thoughts are best forgotten. Organization 13 is Xehanort's nobody! Let's go! Move it! You got what Xehanort did away! Right! Where's the king? There he is! Come on! The Majesty! Xehanort! How long has it been since I abandoned that name? Out with it, nobody! Where's Kyrie? Where's Riku? I know nothing of any Kyrie. As for Riku, perhaps you should ask your king. Stop! He's gone. What's going on? Way to fall right into their trap. It's a setup by Organization 13. Xemnas is using you to destroy the Heartless. That's his big master plan. Xemnas? The guy you just saw. He's their leader. Got it memorized? X-E-M-N-A-S. Organization 13 wants to get rid of the Heartless? Man, you're slow. Every heartless slain with that Keyblade releases a captive heart. That is what the organization, 
is after. So what are those guys gonna do with your hearts? I'm not telling. Tell us! You! You're the one who kidnapped Kyrie. Bingo. The name's Axel. Got it memorized. Where is Kyrie? Please, just tell me. Look, about Kyrie, I'm sorry. Axel. Uh oh. We'll ensure he receives the maximum punishment. I don't care about any of that. Just let me into the realm of darkness, okay? If it's Kyrie you're worried about, don't. We're taking very good care of her. Take me to her. Is she that important to you? Yeah, more than anything. Show me how important. Please. So, you really do care for her? In that case, the answer is no. You run! Are you angry? Do you hate me? Then take that rage and direct it at the Heartless. Pitiful Heartless, mindlessly collecting hearts. And yet, they know not the true power of what they hold. The rage of the Keyblade releases those hearts. They gather in darkness, masterless and free, until they weave together to make kingdom hearts. And when that time comes, we can truly finally exist. What in the world do you think you're prattling on about? Kingdom Hearts belongs to me. The heart of all kingdoms. The heart of all that lives. A dominion fit to be called Kingdom Hearts must be my dominion. Maleficent, no! No more Heartless! I do not take orders from you! Fool. Oh no! Keep these creatures at bay. You devise a way to vanquish them forever. Maleficent. Do not misunderstand me. I shall have my revenge on you yet. Maleficent! Leave now. I don't take orders from you. But what about... Now then, where did we leave off? Huh? Which side are you guys on, anyway? The Heartless ally with whoever's the strongest. Yes, Sora. Extract more hearts. No! The hearts! Maybe everything we've done... Maybe it was all for nothing. What am I supposed to do if I can't use the Keyblade? Imbeciles! 
You can't be trusted to do anything. Huh? Sora! Donald! Goofy! Relax. Those three aren't going down that easily. The Keyblade's chosen one. He's a lucky kid. See you soon. Sora knows the truth now. The more heartless that he defeats, the closer he is to becoming our perfect puppet. This new knowledge will make him that much harder to control. What does it matter, really? Whatever his circumstances, Sora has never been able to help himself from saving people from the Heartless. It's what his pure little heart wants. There. The dice have been cast. Things are in motion. He can't stop this. Nothing is set in stone. If the dice aren't in your favor, it will share Demix's fate. The fun is in not knowing, isn't it? What is the point of betting on something if you already know the outcome? Are you sure that defeating him won't derail the organization's plan? If he is to die so easily, he is of no use to us. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. It's not in my nature to hold back. I guess sometimes help comes from unexpected places. Sure does! Maybe everything we've done... Maybe it was all for nothing. What am I supposed to do if I can't use the Keyblade? Imbeciles! You can't be trusted to do anything. Huh? What's this place? It must be the Realm of Darkness. Kairi! Riku! What? What? Are you sure you want to open? That? Gorge! It's the gang from Twilight Town. There's Hainer, Pence, Olette, and, uh, um... Roxas. Yogarama! No. The name just popped into my head. This is Roxas. Are you sure you want to eat that? Chunky, no, sweet.
Not yet. I gotta look for Kyrie. A photo and some ice cream. Hmm, wonder if there's some sort of clue. And who would have left them for us anyway? Riku? You think? Just this feeling I got. Hey, what if the Heartless are back again? I can't use the Keyblade. That would only help the organization. But Sora, I think you have to use it. If we don't fight them, the Heartless will keep on hurting folks. I wonder how everybody's doing. No time to talk. We gotta catch that guy. I'm following him too. Then let's go! Looks like he got away. How come you're after somebody from Organization 13? What is that? The guy in black. One of the bad guys! I knew it. There's a rumor in the Imperial City about a spy in black, lurking in the mountains. I'd been up here tracking him, but when you arrived, I lost him. Ah. <sighs> Sorry. Don't apologize, but I do wonder where he went. Okay, first things first. Did you get him? Hmm. No. He's gone. What? You lost him? Anyway, what now? I think that we better get rid of all the Heartless first. What was that? Come on, we better get off the mountain. Okay.
Open up! Over here! Riku? Uh? Oh? No, never heard of him. Way to go!
Once again, you have served China well. It would please me to reward you. What is it that you wish? Well... You say a guy in black came to see you. What did he say? That is all you request? Yes. Dragons have crossed our land and left a great web of paths. These dragons wield much power, and they are the source of many gifts to both man and nature. But it would seem someone of evil intent disturbed one of our dragons and transformed it into what you call a heartless. It is my belief that this young man came to warn me of that danger. Then, I could alert and prepare my troops. Did you? <laughs> I was about to, but he told me the situation had changed. He said three wise guys had arrived, and they would take care of things. <laughs> That's gotta be Riku! But what's he doing hanging out with Organization 13? No idea. But at least I finally know he's okay. That's good enough. Yeah, that's done! Now then, Famula, do you have a request? I'd like Shang... Uh, I mean, well, the captain. Yes, yes, my dear, what is it? Could the captain have a vacation, please? I hardly expected such humble requests. In this case, I'm afraid I must refuse. Captain Lee's responsibility is to protect the Emperor. And yet, Mulan... Yes. Would you like to serve alongside him and protect me? Huh? What? Two reeds together are stronger than one. But the choice is yours alone. Thank you, Your Excellency. Jack! Uh, Zora, some assistance? That's Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Will you leave a mate to perish? Aye, aye.
The interceptor off the starboard bow. Will! Stop that, Jack. We've got to rescue him. Will, wake up. <gasps> Elizabeth. What happened? The medallions and the stone chest. Someone's taken them. Next thing I knew, we were attacked. But I couldn't see who it was. His face was shrouded in a black hood. The organization. We found a way out of the cave. But the villains sent a horde of terrible creatures after us. I've never seen their likes before. I think I'm the only one who made it back to the ship. Will. Elizabeth. I feel rather... Uh... Our turn, guys. You'd best go prepared. We've no idea what's out there. Pardon me, lads and lass, but your captain will have no monsters today. Thank you. We're turning for home. Just like that? Just like that. Don't remember inviting you. So it was the organization. We'll handle this. Huh? The darkness of men's hearts. Drawn to these cursed medallions. And this heartless. A veritable maelstrom of avarice. I wonder, are they worthy to serve Organization 13? And you want an answer now? Precisely. Back off! Oh boy! Not over yet. Throw him overboard. Aye, aye. Holly! Excuse me? Barley? It's a bit of the pirate's code. Anyone who invokes parley must not be harmed till negotiations are complete. This is no time for rules. True. But as we're honorable pirates, we should always stick to the code. All right, you. Out with it. I surrender the chest with my humblest apologies. Rather accommodating of you, mate. And for that you want... Just a few souvenirs. For the memories. Huh? Oh no! We can't stop the curse unless we got all the medallions! Our friend's about to learn what it means to cross a pirate. Oh. Sora, Donald, Goofy, he's yours. You stole a medallion again? Were I only that fortunate? Fortunate? So, uh, how come you're all skeleton-y? Perhaps I got a touch of something from that monster what attacked us. Yet, why is the skin resting right on you three? Cause we're not greedy! What do you get to that? That still doesn't solve the mystery. Gorge. Maybe the reason we're all okay is because we're not from this world. There must be different laws. Yeah. 
We're always just passing through. Wonder when we'll see home again. Slower. <laughs> just kidding you. Lucky we didn't get cursed, huh? Quit yammering, mates. We've got to find ourselves a ship that'll float. Italian! Get it! Three more to go. How do you know? A pirate must have a keen eye, else he won't be sailing free for very long. Savvy? What? What's that? Ridiculous imitation, and yet I'm flattered. That's four medallions. We got them all. But where's the chest? If we find the hooded man, we'll find it. Probably in Port Royal. Why's that? Organization 13 is after people's hearts, so they're gonna go wherever there's lots of people. They'll hurt the townsfolk? No, they're bringing them flowers, mate. I don't know who these organizers are, but I will say they're making we pirates look like proper gents. Well, Jack. Then, we have to help. Then let go and hold a run free! Now to break that curse. The curse it's gone. Then what's this? Oh, I understand. Jack must have been cursed by that monster, not from taking the gold. Oh, I've no worries then. It's okay, Jack. We'll just have to defeat the monster, that's all. Get the gold! All better. And not quite, mate. Sora! Bravo! Just who was that chap? He is part of an organization that's collecting hearts. First, they release heartless into different worlds. We defeat those heartless, then they get the hearts. We're never gonna stop them like this. What's the plan, then? We gotta find their stronghold and finish them off, once and for all. Sail in these waters, I've heard some tales, but not a one like this. Is there any way we can help? Hmm... Anything at all. There is. It's certain we don't need the likes of that hooded fellow and the heartless about. 
They'll ruin the market for us true pirates. So that's why you went to Port Royal. And we thought you actually wanted to save everyone. A pirate always looks to profit, Miss Swan. Too bad. You had us going there thinking you'd turned over a new leaf. The question is, what's beyond the leaf, Savvy? Oh, oh yes. A reward. And what'll it be? That lovely blade of Sora's. Huh? <laughs> okay, sure. Hold on, that was far too easy. Uh, what's the rub? Now there, you see? Well, you've always got the pearl, Jack. That I do. But someday I'll gather a bloodthirsty crew and come to take that blade. Chance by then, I'll have the way to wield it. And if I succeed, I'll ask you two to join me. That'd be reward enough. Done. Maybe someday Jack will be able to use the Keyblade after all. Where's that? <laughs> he and Sora are kind of alike, don't you think? Or not. <laughs> <laughs> Some say Jack Sparrow's the worst pirate ever to sail the Spanish main. No one could really mean that. Right. We know he's the best. I hope we'll get to see him again. Nothing wrong with my design. It's flawless. There must be something wrong with the parts those imbeciles brought me. I need to find better assistance. Timing, gentlemen. Lend me a hand, won't you? These presents must belong to Sandy Claus, so I thought I'd better return them. You just happened to find them? Of course, Sora. I'm finished with Christmas fantasies, you know that. You thought you'd hold on to the suit. What, this? It's just a costume. And Sally worked so very hard making it. Come on, we've got work to do. Did you find these? In Halloween Town. You'll be needing them for Christmas, right, Sandy? Of course. But these are just a few of the Christmas presents that were stolen. Stolen? Oh, Sandy, you don't think it was me? Still wearing the outfit, I see. I just thought I'd dress for the occasion. But, if you don't believe me, then we'll just have to find out who really did it. Very well, I'll leave it to you. All right, Sora, Donald, Goofy, we're off! This 
this looks good. No! Boring! This one? No! No way! So you three took them. Took what? You stole the presents, didn't you? It wasn't us. But... It really sounds like fun. Run, Run for it! it! Official, I can't handle this by myself. Sally was right. We've got to get the presents. <laughs> Back off. Yeah. What a shame. It looks like it was such a nice present. Uh, Jack. Oh, help! Someone help me! My latest experiment is gone! It's been stolen! Not quite. There's more? Don't worry, I'll take care of the rest. Did you finish making the presents? Yep, just waiting for Jack. So, uh, where do you think we ought to leave them? Hmm. 
Oh, I know a good spot. Whenever you're ready, just say the word. I'm back. This plaza should work well for your plan. Now, Jack, what is your plan? I've got it all figured out. You do? Of course. And I also have a wonderful idea. If we catch the thief for you, I would be honored to deliver the crew. And on that note, we'll be going. What are you doing? Let me go! Stop, Pluplug! It's not me, Donald. Patience, friends. Gorge, was that you? How come we have to be the bait? Good plan, eh? Ouch! Dr. Finkelstein's experiment did it! Jack, prepare to scream! The mystery is solved! Did you catch the thief? Naturally. I just can't figure out why the doctor's experiment would go around stealing Christmas presents. His experiment? The thief. It was a moving puppet made by Dr. Finkelstein. Hmm, the doctor's made a moving puppet. I see. He is always tinkering with things. Now listen, Jack. I'd like to thank you, and while delivering presents is something only I can do, I can give you an idea of what it's like. Sandy Claus? Yes, all that poor puppet wanted was a heart. Ho, ho, ho! Interesting. So the puppet wasn't stolen after all. It ran away on its own. In other words, my experiment was an overwhelming success. Santa Claus thinks maybe it left because it was trying to find a heart. That's quite possible. Unlike my Sally, it wasn't equipped with a heart. But if it wanted a heart, why was it going around stealing all those Christmas presents? Maybe because presents are a way to give your heart to someone special. Hmm. When you put it that way, I feel sort of bad for it. Happy Halloween! What a nice present. I don't understand. There's no box. No ribbon tied in a bow. Jack, it's not about the box or the ribbons. It's about what's inside the box. No, Sora. What really counts, what's really special, is the act of giving the gift to wish deep in your heart to make someone else happy. Right. Of course. Thank you, Sally. You're absolutely right. Wait. What's this? I feel so strange. So very happy. Jack, that must be Sally's present. Really? This wonderful feeling? Oh, Sally. 
You've given me the nicest present in the world, and I've nothing to give you in return. What would you like? Just name it. Absolutely anything. The nicest present I could ever ask for, Jack, is just to be with you. You don't even have to ask for that. Oh! <laughs> Maybe I never gave her a real present after all. Oh, I bet Kyrie would like most anything you gave her. I know. That's what made it so hard to decide. It's not your gift, it's what's in your heart. My heart? You bet. Tom is that side How? Well, as long as she can be with you, what else does she need? <laughs> Wait a sec. I thought everything was supposed to be under control here. Must be Organization 13 again. We better go see Leon. He went on over to Ansem's study to find out what all the ruckus was about. Turns out the MCP is using the data in that computer to crank out Heartless. The MCP's been messing around with the town's control system, too. MCP sure doesn't know when to quit, does it?
We'll be there soon, Tron. Hope Tron's okay. Me too. Let's head for the game grid. Great! The terminal works! Let's go! Finished? Would be, if it weren't for the old loon's magic. Old loon, you say? I'm trying to work here. <laughs> I'll show you who's old. Done. Yeah. There you go, Leon. One homemade program. A loony wizard special. This had better work. I'm off. Warning. User control is terminated indefinitely. <sighs> no good. Leon, let me try. This is your final warning. Stop at once. Bon appétit. Don't talk with your mouth full. What? What are you loading? Nothing's come in yet. Leon, come on! There. All right! What's it like? This is very strange. That's more than Spy Trek! Huh? 
There's a power booster for me. And flight routines for the solar sailor. Meaning we're set? Well, like you users say, we won't know till we give it a try. We'll need a sailor to reach the MCP, so let's get to the simulation hangar. The MCP is straight ahead. Time to settle things for good. Who was that? Sark, the MCP's number two. Tenacious little bugs. Your time is up. Prepare for de-resolution! Run! Running executable! Data transfer! You're very persistent, Tron. I'm also better than you. Uh, we... would have made a great team. Now for the MCP. This thing is the MCP? That's it. Ugly, isn't it? Tom, don't you understand? We don't need users. We've advanced. They're superfluous. Be a part of me, and together the world will be ours to control. MCP. You still don't get it, do you? Sark! Sark! All my functions are now yours! I see Tron has a silly side, too. I learned it from you. Of course, I do have my silly limits. Okay, then I'll tweak your program when I get back to the user world. You? Maybe we better not try that. Aw, oh, how about it, guys? Singing Tron? Dancing Tron. Sound good? <laughs> okay, okay, fine. But before I crash... Sora, Donald, Goofy, and all the users out there... Thank you. You really helped me. You made me so much stronger. You taught me what friendship is truly all about. And I'll never forget it. As soon as I met you, I knew we were going to defeat the MCP and free the system. Uh, uh... 
Isn't this what users do when they're sorry to say goodbye? Uh, it's a first for me. Of course, Tron. It's like a promise that we'll see each other again real soon. Okay. Well then. I promise. Where are you going? Oh. <laughs> Tron! settling down in town. The only Heartless left anywhere are the local variety. And it looks like there are fewer than before. Now if we can just get those three back in one piece... You're here! Welcome back! How's the town? A-OK! -okay. Not a single trace of the MCP, either. Everything's back to normal. We made it. Hey, why the long face? What happened? Tron just disappeared. And he promised we'd see him again. Run! What's happening? Greetings, friends. System is up and ready for user input. Tron! Tron! Stay in touch. Yeah. I'm boy boy. Hey, stop that. It tickles. Tron is ticklish? How about this? Please, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tron's been hanging around those guys too much. Wait, wait, just a moment. I want to show you something I dug up from the system archives. You can see the town back when it was first built. That's right. I remember now. Just like the old days. Hmm. I'd be fascinated to ascertain as to when the town got such a dreadful name as Hollow Bastion. You know, this town had another name once. Hmm? Radiant Garden. Hey, I think we're almost there. Huh? Gorge, aren't we here because of the picture? Look, I'll show you. Wow, look this round. Come on, let's go find this mansion. Yeah. Hey, are you all right? What happened? We came here looking for Kyrie. Then those white things attacked us. 
You gotta be careful. Yeah. You guys didn't have to go and do that. Of course we did. Kyrie's our friend too, you know. You're right. You know, I never thought of it like that before. Word is, this mansion gets a lot of really strange visitors. We thought this place might be the gateway to some kind of alternate Twilight Town. What do you mean, alternate Twilight Town? Hey, Goofy, do you think we could see that crystal of yours? I made that pouch myself, and I still have it. So, there shouldn't be two of them here. And this is the trophy Cypher gave you. You left it behind, remember? It's the only one of its kind. Same for the crystals. Red, blue, yellow, green. Only one of each color. But you've got your own. So, where'd you get it? Um... The pouch is from the king. When he gave us money for the train ride, he gave us the crystal too. But then, where did the king get it? See? There's gotta be another town out there like this one. That would explain how the king got that pouch and the crystal. Everything makes sense. It does? That other town must be where whatever's missing from here went. Like Kyrie. I get it. Watch out! I got something to tell you. I found out where Ansem is. Ansem the Wise. The real Ansem. He snuck into Organization 13 Stronghold. And we've figured out where Kyrie is. I'm pretty sure we're right. But why'd you all come here? Someone gave us a clue. Who? Well, Your Majesty, Sora thinks it might have been Riku. It's just a feeling I had. Well, if that's what you think, then it's probably right. You mean Riku's okay? If that's what you think. I've waited long enough, Your Majesty. Tell me what you know. It's not for me to say. But Your Majesty, why? I don't want to break my promise. You made a promise to Riku? So he's okay. I can see him again. Huh? Who's Riku? My best friend. That's it. Your Majesty, you got the pouch with the crystal from Riku, didn't you? And you promised not to tell, right? Gosh, guys. That's enough. Yeah. Let's go. Kairi, Riku, we're on our way. We found it! How does it work? I can handle it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, what's wrong? I can't go any further without a password. Do you have any idea what the password might be? Mm. Well, we only got this photo. Yeah, the one Donald ate up. It was in the box right next to the photo. Hey, that's it. Ansem the Wise loved ice cream. Okay, what's the name of the flavor? It worked! Let's go! 
We'll be here to hold down the fort. Say hi to Kyrie. You bet. Are we back in the same place? Yeah! This is the other Twilight Town. Roxas's Twilight Town. There's gotta be an entrance into the Dark Realm somewhere! There. This is it! What is this place? Which way should we go? Riku! Kairi! Don't stop moving, or the darkness will overtake you! Get going! Why? Don't ask, just do it! You okay? I kidnapped Kairi, but she got away from me. After that, Syax caught her. He's a member of Organization 13. Syax, got it memorized? Now go save her! Leave us alone! I think I liked it better when they were on my side. Feeling a little regret? Nah, I can handle these punks. <laughs> Watch this. That's what happens when you put your whole being into an attack. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not that nobody's actually have beings, right? Anyway, I digress. Go. Find Kyrie. Oh, almost forgot. Sorry for what I did to her. When we find her, you can tell her that yourself. Think I'll pass. My heart just wouldn't be in it, you know? Haven't got one. <laughs> Axel, what were you trying to do? I wanted to see Roxas. He... was the only one I liked. He made me feel... like I had a heart. It's kind of... funny. You make me feel... The same. Kyrie's in the castle dungeon. Now go. Axel. This leads to. Ah, uh, come on, let's get going. The house is looking pretty empty, huh? I thought I'd get a little enjoyment watching Axel throw one last tantrum. But he went a lot quieter than I thought. Perhaps he was ready for it. Perhaps he put his existence on the line and won what he'd been longing for. Wait a minute. How would that even be possible? We don't exist, remember? What you're saying goes against the laws of nature. 
then perhaps he bet his non-existence. Either way, he came out a winner. Oh, Axel. A grifter till the end. That's absurd. He won nothing, and is nothing. He couldn't stand the emptiness of being without a heart, and that led to his demise. He was foolish and weak. But... Weakness has the power to awaken that which is dormant. It is clear that through his actions, however foolish they may have been, Axel has touched Sora's heart. Perhaps he will soon awaken. Axel said Kyrie's in the dungeon. Then we better find a way to get to that castle. Seek answers. You feel nothing. Nothing is real. I can give you purpose.
Roxas. That is right, the new you. Look who's finally awake. <gasps> Axel! Or, maybe I have it wrong. Might be time to sleep. Soon we won't be able to talk like this anymore. Does that mean... it's time for me to go back to where I belong? You know, I've been thinking about something Namine said. Roxas, are you really sure that you don't have a heart? Is it possible that we all have one? You, me, her? Or is that just wishful thinking? I don't know. I can't just look inside. Yeah, I guess not. But I figure, if there is something in there, inside us, then we'd feel it, wouldn't we? And if so... No, never mind. Come on, don't leave me hanging. Sora will find the answer we're looking for. I know he will, because he's me. True enough. Uh, thanks. Man, I miss the old times. Still got it memorized. The day we met, and you got your new name, you and I sat right here and watched the sunset. Yeah. This place is home. Me, Hayner, Pence, Olette, we've shared a lot of adventures. You'll see them again. I know you will. Yeah. You're right. Well, I should go. Sora's waiting for me. Yeah, I suppose he is. Man, this is some good ice cream, huh? Take care, okay? Right back at you, buddy. Disappeared. Then me and Donald had to fight some nobodies. Oh, he said he defeated Riku. Who said that? That guy in the black coat. But nobody can defeat Riku. Y yeah, you're right. A black coat means Organization 13. He must have been trying to trick you. Yeah, that must be why we didn't see him. Huh? You must be tired, Sora. Come on, let's just find a way to get into that castle. Dead end? There's gotta be a path somewhere.
What are you going to do with us? You're the fire that feeds Sora's anger. No. Sora's in danger because of me. This way. Who... Believe in yourself. Come on, hurry! Kairi, we're almost there. Kairi, where are you? Shh, remember where we are. This is their stronghold. Wait, your majesty. Be careful. I think we got company. Namine. There you are. Namine? Kairi, I'm afraid leaving is not an option. I'll take you to see Sora. You don't want that? I do. More than anything. But not with you around. If I had a heart, this would be where I'd die of laughter. You. Didn't Roxas take care of you? You can take it from here, Riku. Riku? Riku, you're really here? Sora, you've done well. Where's Kairi? Who knows? I expect she's catching up with her friend from the darkness. What do you mean? She doesn't need you anymore. I'm supposed to believe that? Well, you don't have to. But you can believe this. Organization 13 has no further use for you. Just look there. Our kingdom hearts. Thanks to you, we've collected countless hearts. Can you hear their euphoria? Now all they need is one more helping from the Keyblade Bearer. We got a friend! But... Kingdom Hearts... Sora! Sora, it's really you! Kairi! You leave Sora alone!
take it. Mm -hmm. This time, I'll fight. You know Sora is completely hopeless without us. Come on, Riku. Well, well. Will the intrusions never end? This castle is perfect. Perhaps we should uh, acquire it. Well, the setup is kind of nice, I guess. But what about all the heartless? Oh, this in-between world, it, it's way too close to the darkness. They ain't gonna listen to us here. Once again, you underestimate me. It's been too long, my friend. Ansem the Wise, why didn't you come to me before things got so bad? Zemnas, the organization superior, is the nobody of Xehanort, my foremost apprentice. The burden was mine to bear. Is that all? I won't deny there was more. I was obsessed with thoughts of revenge. My apprentices stole everything precious to me. My research and my pride. I can't help you with revenge. I know. Riku's told me a thousand times. Where is he? He must be with his friends by now. Riku was a great help to me. I found him wandering the darkness after you and he lost track of each other. Gosh, we didn't lose each other exactly. Riku left, well, because Xehanort's Heartless was still inside his heart, troubling him. And he sure must have been suffering. But what I don't understand is why he looks like that now, when he's still Riku at heart. I am to blame. When I met Riku the first time, he still had the appearance of a boy. Probably because he had such a strong heart. I asked him to find a young man named Roxas from Organization 13 and bring him to me. When I told him it would help Sora awaken from his slumber, Riku left without a word. He fought Roxas, and I can only surmise Riku lost that fight. Riku must have realized then to fight in the realm of darkness, he would have to immerse himself in that same darkness. And when he did, you saw what became of him. When Riku brought Roxas back to me, he was introducing himself as Ansem. If that was what it took to awaken his friend, he was ready to live in darkness. Riku was the victim of my revenge. How my heart ached. I could only laugh to hide my shame. I guess it must have been after that when I saw Riku again. He said he wanted to help Sora, but he made me promise. Promise that Sora wouldn't ever find out about what happened to him while he was out in the darkness. 
my friend. The time has come. I must make amends to these young people. Good boy. Show yourself! Oh. It sounds like you haven't. Sora! Roxas! Roxas? Hey, did he just call me Roxas? You really put Organization 13 in a pickle. I guess that must be why the Keyblade chose you. But man, did it pick a dud this time. You don't look like you're half the hero the others were. Are you done rambling? Rambling? As if. All I'm trying to tell you, traitor, is that your time is up. Here he comes! Why did you call me Roxas? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Hey, hold on! Uh oh, they need our help! Sora and Rico are together. We have no part to play here. Gee, I wonder if Riku will ever change back. Riku chose that form so he could use the power of darkness. It won't be easy. Rejoice and feast on these hearts we offer. Shine your pale light on this empty realm. Share your power with all nobodies. Xemnas, is Kingdom Hearts ready? Very soon. Then I can end this charade? Indeed. How I've waited to hear that. Tiny, you are great! Oh? <laughs> you are different, Kairi. But I'm just glad you're here. You and Riku never came home. So I came looking for you. I'm sorry. This is real. Wait, Ansem! I mean, Xehanort's heartless. 
I never thought for a second that I'd ever see you again. Just thinking about all the things you did makes me really mad. But... But you saved Kyrie, right? I have to be grateful for that. Thanks. Riku, don't go. Huh? Oh? Huh? Kairi, what did you just say? Riku. I'm no one, just a castaway from the darkness. Sora, come here. Say something to him. Here. You'll understand. Close your eyes. Riku's here. I looked for you. Come on, Sora. You've got to pull it together. I looked everywhere for you. I didn't want you to find me. But it was him that was helping us, wasn't it? Huh? Those clues we kept finding, that must have been Riku. I was starting to worry you guys weren't ever going to catch on. Sora never did pick the brightest friends. What do you mean by that? Why didn't you let me know you were okay? I told you. I didn't want to be found. Not like this. I couldn't. I fought with Ansem, with Xanort's Heartless. When it invaded my heart and I won. But to use the power of darkness... I had to become Ansem myself. Does that mean you can't change back? This battle isn't over. And until it is, I still need the power of darkness. Then, let's finish it. You're still Riku, no matter what. So how about it? Think we can handle one last rumble together? The King's waiting. Yeah! Let's get going! This spot should do. What's this gadget for? It's a device to reclaim Kingdom Hearts and encode it as data. Not sure I get it. I do not claim to know the outcome of this venture either. After all, hearts are unpredictable. What's that? It's the King and Diz. I mean, Ansem the Wise. They must be higher up. We better hurry. I'd rather we just skip the formalities. How could you, Roxas? That's Sora! I don't get it. Why has everybody been calling me Roxas? Because, Sora. Roxas is your nobody. 
My... nobody? But that's crazy. I never turned into a heart... Oh... right. It was when you came to rescue me. Remember? Xemnas was the one who found Roxas. He could use the Keyblade because he was your nobody. That's why Xemnas brought him into the organization. But Roxas betrayed them. After that, I fought him because I thought it would help you wake up. I lost. But the next time we met, I made sure I was the stronger one. you quit come on Sora I thought you were stronger than that huh get real look which one of us is winning uh. so it's true you really are his nobody guess Diz was right after all what are you talking about I am me nobody else <laughs> <laughs> How many times do I have to beat you? All right. You've left me with no other choice. What? I have to release the power in my heart. The dark power that I've been holding back. Even if it changes me forever. Accepted it. Diz, he could feel Sora. Oh, he told you how he felt, did he? Ridiculous. And nobody cannot feel anything. If he had met Sora, things might have been different. Maybe I didn't need to fight him after all. I think he left the organization because... He really wanted to meet you. Roxas. I wish I could meet him too. All right, let's go. <laughs> I'm a fool. I spent years studying the workings of the heart. Yet it seems I still haven't learned a thing. What do you mean? The process of encoding hearts is incalculable. The inhabitants of my twilight town 
were data created from real hearts. I was convinced that they would think and behave the way I had envisioned, but I couldn't have been more wrong. A heart is so much more than any system. I saw it when Roxas and Kyrie crossed paths. I knew, but I was too stubborn to accept it. It's always the same. I try to wrap my mind around things my heart already knows, only to fail. While I was trying to bring Sora back, I had so many plans in store. But once Sora was an acting force, they fell apart. All my research amounted to nothing compared with that one boy's heart. And some a machine! All the more proof that hearts cannot be contained by data. Run, my friend. It's going to self-destruct, and anything could happen. But, Your Majesty! Sora, the rest is up to you. And Roxas, I doubt you can hear me. I am sorry. Handsome! My heart is telling me what I must do. Please allow me to do what it says. No! Riku! His heart's decided. We can't change that. I was wondering who would dare interfere with my kingdom hearts. And look, here you all are. How convenient for me. Ansem the Wise. You look pathetic. Have your love. I deserve as much for failing to see you for the fool you are. Students do take after their teachers. Only a fool would be your apprentice. After all, none of this would have happened without you. You are the source of all heartless. It was your research that inspired me to go further than you ever dared. I admit, my disregard brought chaos to more worlds than one. But what were you seeking? You erased me from the world, only to take my name and continue research better left forgotten. Is this the answer you've been looking for? All that and more. I'm carrying on what you yourself began, and I'm creating a brand new world, one heart at a time. I thought you'd praise me, but all you ever do is hold me back. I understand, though. Unlike me, you have a heart, and you're powerless to control it, consumed by the jealousy you feel toward the student who surpassed you. They are not foolish apprentice of a foolish man. You have surpassed nothing, only proved how little we both know. We may profess to know the heart, but its essence is beyond our reach. We're both ignorant, as oblivious as when we began. Afraid that any world you try to create, any world of yours, would be an empire of ignorance. That is why you and your creation are destined to fall. We've said enough. Rico, you know what to do. King Mickey, my friend, forgive me. Farewell!
Riku! Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Riku! Wow! wow. Riku! Uh, uh. Ansem did say anything could happen. Riku, you gonna take that off? Oh. What was that? His eyes couldn't lie. Lie? And just who were you trying to fool? Huh? Huh? Myself. Riku, come on, man. Why did you try to do so much on your own? You've got friends, like us. Have you forgotten? I'll tell you why. Because I'm not a total sap like you. Say that again. <laughs> what should we do, Riku? We must defeat Xemnas. He's the organization's last survivor. Right. Come on. Sora! Riku! There's gonna be no end to this! Together we can stop them. Gone from here. Leave these creatures to us. But there's no way we could take them all. I will be sending them after Xemnas. Or perhaps you would rather fight them yourself. Frankly, my dear, I'd rather run. Off with you then. Well, if it ain't the boat boy king. Time to weigh anchor, Captain Pete. What, like abandoned ship? I don't think so. Sora, your majesty, do not forget. When I've destroyed them all, this castle shall be mine. Now looky here. Opportunities like this don't come along every day, you know. Come on! We gotta hurry! But... They're doing what their hearts command. We can't interfere. Oh, my kingdom hearts. Ruined. to start all over again. Warriors of the Keyblade, go forth and bring me more hearts. No! Denizens of Light, answer this. Why do you hate the darkness? Ha, huh, we don't hate it. It's just kinda scary. But the world's made of light and darkness. You can't have one without the other, because darkness is half of everything. Sort of makes you wonder why we are scared of the dark. It's because of who's lurking inside it. Then allow me another question. You accept darkness, yet choose to live in the light. 
So why is it that you loathe us who teeter on the edge of nothing? We who were turned away by both light and dark, never given a choice. That's simple. It's because you mess up our world. That may be. However, what other choice might we have had? Just give it a rest. You're nobodies. You don't even exist. You're not sad about anything. <laughs> Very good. You don't miss a thing. I cannot feel sorrow. No matter what misery befalls the worlds, no matter what you think, what you feel, or how you exist. Guys! Where's Xemnas? What? Hear me, Kingdom Hearts. It seems we must begin anew. Ah, but know this. I will give to you as many hearts as it takes. Mark my words. You can no more be complete without me than I without you. Heed me, Kingdom Hearts. Lend me your power so that we may be complete. The power to erase the fools that hinder us. Goodness! No! Hearts quivering with hatred. Xemnas, don't! Hearts burning with rage. Heart scarred by envy. That fool Ansem said the heart's true nature was beyond his understanding. But it's not beyond mine. Hearts are the source of all power. Xemnas, you can't hide from us! We're not gonna let him get away now! Look at that! What's going on? Kingdom Hearts! Let's go. Xemnas must be inside. The worlds gave us this doorway. They want us to be the guardians of their destiny. Mm. Once we go through, there's no turning back. It's victory or oblivion.
Get ready, Xemnas. It all ends here. Huh? So, it seems your hearts have led you to obliteration. Perhaps it doesn't pay to be too loyal to one's heart. I will have to be sure and remember that. No! We can take him on our own. I need more rage. I need more hearts. Xemnas, there's more to a heart than just anger or hate. It's full of all kinds of feelings. Don't you remember? Unfortunately, I don't. Gosh, you all did great! You're coming back with us, right? I had given in to the darkness. Riku! How am I gonna face everyone? Like this? <laughs> I'll open a path. Huh? Oh. You don't belong in the Dark Realm anymore, Riku. How do we get out of here, Your Majesty? Hmm. Well, I'm not sure. But we better hurry and get through. Wait for me! Thank you, Naminé. Sure. See? We meet again, like we promised. Huh? You said we'd meet again. But when we did, we might not recognize each other. I did, didn't I? But I knew you. Hmm. It's strange. I think I understand. I see myself the way you remember me. And you see yourself the way I remember you. I always thought nobodies were doomed to fade back into darkness. Yeah, but you and I did it. We got to meet our original selves. So, we can be together again. Right. Anytime Sora and Kyrie are together. We'll be together every day. Right, Sora? Uh, yeah.
Luke Sharp. Uh, huh? Don't worry. You're all still you. Hey, let's go home. Riku, come on. Yeah. Riku? Yeah? I wanted to thank Nominate, but I couldn't bring myself to say it. Not until everything was back to the way it was before. Don't worry. We'll make that happen. Once this is over, you can thank her all you want. Yeah! from the realm of light. I will not allow it to end this way. Not yet. If light and darkness are eternal, then surely we nothings must be the same. Eternal. You're right. Light and darkness are eternal. Nothing probably goes on forever too. But guess what, Xemnas? That doesn't mean you're eternal. <laughs> no more eternal than that radiance of yours. That's it! Yeah! Why? 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 Is that all you got? I'll take them. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
I wouldn't be too sure of that. Sora. I can't. Don't say another word. It's not over. It's just not. How can you say that? Even if we could go on. Look where we are. Aw, oh, come on, Riku. You've been hanging out in darkness too long. You gotta try and think positive. Sora? Hmm? You lead. Got it. You know? I always figured I was better at stuff than you. Really? Hmm. Are you mad? No. I kinda always thought you were better at everything, too. Riku, look! What's that light? End of the road. Yep. Put me down. I can walk. You know... Maybe the darkness has gotten to me too. Riku! This world is perfect for me. If this is what the world really is, just this, then maybe I should fade back into darkness. Riku. If the world is made of light and darkness, will be the darkness. Yeah. The other side. The realm of light is safe now. Kyrie, the king, and the others are there. That's what I mean. Hey, Sora. Could you help me? I want to get down to the water. At least the waves sound the same. What I said back there, about thinking I was better at stuff than you? Mm hmm? To tell you the truth, Sora, I was jealous of you. What for? I wished I could live life the way you do. Just following my heart. Yeah, well, I've got my share of problems, too. Like what? Like wanting to be like you. Hmm. <laughs> well, there is one advantage to being me. Something you can never imitate. Really? What's that? Having you for a friend. Then I guess... I'm okay the way I am. I've got something you could never imitate, too.
Sora? Hmm? I think it's for you. Thinking of you wherever you are. We pray for our sorrows to end. And hope that our hearts will blend. Now I will step forward to realize this wish. And who knows? Starting a new journey may not be so hard. Or maybe it's already begun. There are many worlds. But they share the same sky. One sky. One destiny. Light. The door to light. We'll go together. Yeah. Control made me feel like there was no tomorrow. Should have told you that you're beautiful, but the days pass and now it's so long ago. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too.
Nothing's changed, huh? Nope. Nothing will. What a small world. But part of one that's much bigger. Yeah. Hey, Riku. What do you think it was? The door to the light. <laughs> this. This? Yeah. It's always closer than you think. What's up? Look. From the king?